Good morning, everybody. I've got me a sleepy boy. A sleepy, soggy. Oh, he's on my hoodie. Yeah, a sleepy, soggy boy. This boy just wants to sleep. Okay. Okay. I know. So soggy. You so soggy, boy. As you can see, I have the the uh, world-renowned star of the stream, Massimo Cheese. He's doing one of his famous appearances this week on my stream, and I'm I'm very excited about it. And you should be too. Uh, because he is a legend. This boy is a legend. And we are... Uh, boy, you just... You just melt in. Boy, you melt in. You can't... You can't melt. Not yet. I gotta at least do the intro. And his lips go... Blip, 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 blip. Blip, 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 blip. He don't care. Oh, he don't care. I love when this boy don't care. I know. I'll let you sleep soon, sweet prince. Don't worry. Don't worry, sweet Massimo. Mm. Massimo is, of course, his Italian name. His real name is Stannis, but we all know that. You know? Good morning, everybody! Good morning, good morning, good morning! Sorry if I, uh, I'm a little distracted. I did see that Koozie is first. Good job, Koozie. You got eye boogies, boy. You got eye boogies. Mm. Glad you're here, Koozie. Bright and early. And Loco says it's time for some stretching. Loco, I will do my best, but look. Hey. This is all we got right now. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. So we're going to have to just make, make do with what we've got. Okay. Good morning, Sussy. The handsomest boy in the world is here. His name is Massimo Cheese. Massimo, 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 Massimo Cheese. It's a Massimo. It's a Massimo Cheese. That's his song. That's his song. Oh, the boy just wants to snugs. The boy just wants to snugs. Oh my goodness, boy. How are you so sweet? Oh. Okay. I love it when he's just soggy in the morning. Oh. Haley, good morning. And I appreciate you as well. And this boy is trying to be like, shh. Boy, I'll let you lay down in a second. I just wanted everybody to see this handsome face. When you wake up, we'll, we'll sit some more. We'll sit some more. Did you hear that lip? Did you hear that Disney lip? He's a nice boy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's my favorite. The lips go. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about you, but you're trying so hard. Here, would you like to lay down? Everyone, say buongiorno to Massimo. Say buongiorno. Mm, I'm going to let him sleep now. I'm going to let this boy sleep now. Look at his chin. The most beautiful chin in the whole world. It's so perfect. Yeah. This is why he is star. Okay, you may go. Okay, okay. And then we go like this. And there we go. And then he slides out. Yep, just like that. Ah, good boy. I'll be here. I'll be here when you're ready, boy. You may sleep. 
so good morning, everybody. Uh, I have some cheese, if you could not, uh, if you couldn't tell. And look at this, Haley. Huh? Huh? Meemaw, Meemaw Dukes in action this week. <laughs> Ma. What? RJ City is here? Well, hi, RJ City. I was not expecting you. Some mornings I am, but this one I was not. That's nice of you to stop by. I become Sean Connery suddenly. Thanks for stopping by. Um, or Deckard Kane from Diablo. Also a real possibility. Good morning, Kevin. It is the cheese boy. It is a cheesy morning here on my stream. I'm very happy. Sabretooth, good morning. Haley, I appreciate you, and I'm also wearing the shirt you made me, so thank you. TJ Davis, yes, calm yourself. It is a boy of cheese, and he's still be he's gonna be here all week. Or most of the week. So don't worry, we're gonna get our fill of cheese this week. It's cheese week. And we all know how I feel about cheese week. So don't worry. All right, but when he is, I feel bad sometimes in the mornings, like doing that to him and not just letting him sleep because then he wakes up and then he, but then he's like, so we're going to play, right? Like, and I need him to sleep a little bit longer, a little bit longer. This boy did not get to swim yesterday because of the weather. And I have not looked at the weather today, but when I looked outside at the weather today, it was not looking great. So I'm hoping it clears up by the time I stream and this boy can get some pool time. That would be very nice. Um, <clears throat> Loco, thank you again for your very generous donation. I appreciate that, man, so much. Ah, leave your stretch until the glorious second cup. Speaking of, I got the glorious first cup here. It's still glorious. It's glorious. And, uh, shout out to Queens. I don't know if she's here. If she comes in, draw my attention to it because Queens sent me a gift off of my wish list and it was some more Bulletproof Instamix, which I conveniently was two packets away from running out of. And someone someone else in the house had been eating or using it. And I was running out. My normal timed you know, thing was not accurate anymore because someone else had been drinking it. So it was very handy. So thank you, Queens. I'll say it again when you show up, unless you're here right now. In which case, this is the one, okay? Ah, that's not like Stannis' lip. It is a great shirt. I agree. Good morning, Matt. Meemaw Duke is on duty all week, and I enjoy it. I love it. He does love my bed. He loves that it's low to the ground. He loves that new duvet cover. He gets all up in it. And he enjoyed just stretching out and taking up the entire bed last night. He's it's his. He's allowed to. Uh, and it was amazing. It's been a good it's been a good start so far. It's been a good start. Cheese week. Oh, that boy's hot. I thought so. I thought so. I had him sitting up here the whole time taking pictures and then waiting. And I just I had a feeling that boy might be getting hot. That boy overheats. That boy overheats and he has to stay cool. You know? I need to turn on my, speaking of stay cool, my fan needs to be turned on. There we are. Okay. Everyone, how was everybody's weekend? Everyone doing all right? Everyone had a good time? A nice Sunday, a nice relaxing Sunday? Oh, amazing, Sussy. You're starting Odyssey. I play basically the entire game on stream. So I hope that you enjoy it. 
it's great. I, I know a lot of people started watching during that particular playthrough. A lot of people still talk about it. I think just visually is a really good choice, and I feel like Valhalla is very very similar. Um, some people hated Odyssey. Like, they really, like, they did. They hated it. It was too big. It was too whatever. They just didn't like it. Didn't like the combat. You know, there's all these reasons. But me, personally, I enjoyed it a lot. And I felt like the uh, the mythology was just fun. I thought it was done well. It was blended well. as Very similar. I feel like they've done a good job with Valhalla. The Viking mythology is fun, you know? And I feel like they've brought enough of it in to be fun and a little bit fantasy, but not so fantasy that it's like, you know, unbelievable, right? So, of course he overheats. Look at that cheese. He just uh, melts. He starts to melt, you know? The cheese starts to just, it just starts to melt. Oh, Grace, it's your birthday today? Well, happy birthday, Grace. I'm sorry that you're heading to work, but I've had to do it too. We've Most of us have had to do it, I think, uh, at some point or another. It ends up happening, and you can just hope that it's not terrible. You know, I hope that it's at least okay. And if that's the case, then, then that will make me happy. And I appreciate you taking time to say hello, even on your birthday. You could be doing all sorts of stuff. I, you know, there's lots of things you could be doing on your birthday. So I'm grateful that you choose to to at least pop in and say hello. Koozie worked night shifts all... Uh, that's, is that normal? Like, is that... I'm not even going to say the word normal. I know it's not normal. But is that, like, healthy? Can humans do that? Can we adjust to that, to the night thing? I just didn't... I don't know. I don't know enough about it, Koozie. What do you think? You're the one living it. The weekend went by fast. Yesterday did go by fast, I felt like. Um, did I have the gold edition or the standard edition in Far Cry 6? I played the standard edition, but I pre-ordered it, which meant I still got some of the things. I, I got some sort of, like, cool things for pre-ordering it, but I only had the standard edition, which was more than enough for me. I thought it was great. I was like, if I really want the season pass or whatever, I can just, I'll get it then. You know, oh my God, I saved $5. Like, it's not worth $40 now to save $5, maybe. It's just not. Especially when I'm like, I'll probably play it and then want to play Valhalla. And that's exactly what happened. Because it was like, oh, Ubisoft, it's got me in the mood for this type of game. And then I'm like, oh, Valhalla is actually what I really want to play. And speaking of, after Valhalla, there is a game. I don't know that I'll play it right after Valhalla because I am going to get my PS5 set up and play some of those games uh, throughout the Christmas season. But there is a game called Immortals Phoenix Rising that is by Ubisoft, and it kind of flew under the radar, and it's very, it's got really good reviews and really good feedback overall, and it's kind of viewed as like a like a sleeper hit for Ubisoft, like a really good game, one of their better ones. Uh, and it kind of didn't like, it didn't hit right. It didn't hit good. It didn't get a good, you know, reception necessarily. Uh, and I was looking at it and I actually had it in my library for some reason. And I don't know why I was talking to my brother about this. I was like trying to solve the mystery of like how this game got in my library. And I'm like, I, I don't know why I have it. It must've been some sort of Ubisoft thing that I got. I don't know if I got it because of the Ubisoft Plus. I don't know what it was, but it ended up in my library. And I'm like, I'm going to play that eventually because that's, and that'll be a good one to stream. And it kind of goes along the same funness of Odyssey, where it's like, it is the mythology, but really fun and ridiculous. It, whereas Odyssey tries to lean into being a little more realistic. A little, not much, a little. But Immortal Phoenix Rising is just like, it's a fantasy world. And that's fine with me too, you know? Well, good morning, Ty Five. I'm sorry that YouTube was slacking with the notifications. Bad YouTube. Bad. Bad. Get on it. That's all I've got, man. I need people to like these videos, and they need to get the notifications, okay? We can't do this if you're not going to do your end of the bargain. God. <sighs> Hopefully they learned their lesson. Now, uh, how am I doing this morning? high five i'm doing well so there is going to be a new episode of skyrim vr this evening i filmed it late 
I did not get a chance to edit it last night. I edited it this edited did it this morning. Um, and when I edit those videos, it's literally just like cleaning up the beginning, the end. And if I happen to take a break, which when I play for like two hours, I typically do at some point, I edit out the break. So you're not looking at my headset, just staring at the ground, you know, for five minutes while I go get a drink of water or whatever. So it doesn't take long. So I did the editing this morning. It is exporting now. I will upload it. I'm going to try to upload it while I'm streaming and see if that works. It may take longer, but we'll see. It'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. My computer can handle it. Um, and if it can't, we're going to find out. Um, but there is going to be a new episode of Skyrim VR today, which is very exciting. I'm happy to be back. I love it so much. I'm having such a good time playing it. And uh, so that's been, it's been, a, it's been a busy morning. But good, and I got cheese. I got some cheese with me, which, by the way, he got in my lap, and I, like, immediately started to overheat, and so did he. Um, and so now he's laying in the floor, and I had to immediately turn the fan on me to make sure that I don't suffocate. Although I am wearing my super warm Viking hoodie today. But it's Valhalla Day, so, you know, what else am I gonna do? Oops. Um... Glenn, good morning. Lovely to see you. Oh my God, I ma you made an alarm clock with the sound I made. Well, well, don't, if I don't, can't you send it to me on Twitter? I think, Koozie, I follow you, don't I? I thought we had DM'd. Because that's, uh, but the sound of my own voice uh, is unsettling to me, so I can't guarantee that I'll enjoy it at all. Uh, but I appreciate that you have done what you've done, you know? Um. Oh, Alec! See, that makes me feel good. Another, another plus for Immortals Phoenix Rising. That's... I literally have heard pretty much only good things about it, people that have really played it. And the only real criticism I heard was... Either the 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 comedy, the sense of humor that the game has, you will either enjoy it or you will hate it. And I saw clips, and I'm like, I will tolerate it, but I also think my stream will love it because it's like you know corny jokes and stuff. And I was just like, okay, I actually can appreciate that that they went that direction with it, and you know, and did that. So I'm excited about it. I retweeted a tweet at like 7.30 a.m. Yes, oh my God. It was, I'm pretty sure, Riderless, a.k.a. Sammy, who had a picture of the little, it's that little dog meme of the guy, the dog that's in the house that's on fire, and he's like, this is fine, right? But instead of the house being on fire, it's covered in plants. And he was like, this is, this is uh, Charlie Girl. And I was like, oh my God, it is. Like, I've lived it, guys. It's her. That's her. It's crazy. But also lovely. Plants are lovely, and I cannot recommend them enough to people. Like, if you want a pet, but you don't want a, you know, a whole cheese to take care of like this boy, um, or a whole puppy princess to, uh, you know, feast your eyes upon, then yes, I think plants are like a great, they're a great middle ground, because you do have to take care of them. You do, you do have to take care of them, and they reward, they're, they're rewarding, you know, they are pleasant they are nice. They add to your environment. Uh, it's good. I, I'm just a big fan of them. I like the plants. I enjoy the plants. I would like some plants for my office, but because we're moving, I'm just like, ugh. I don't now. I don't want to do anything. Now that it's like, oh, we're moving. It's like I don't want to do anything. I don't. I. This is like my. I hate moving. I hate moving so much. Even if it's a short distance, long distance, doesn't matter. I hate it. I really do. <sighs> I really do. But it must be done. You know? I knew you would be happy about the Skyrim VR episode, Sussy. I, I knew that you would. But rest assured, I am also fiending to play the game. Like, when, it take, when I don't get an evening to play it, I'm like, I get really restless. I'm like, oh, oh I don't like... I don't like missing it. I need my little adventure into Skyrim. You know, I do at least an hour. I need at least an hour. And what I've realized is if I have the time, I've been playing closer to two. Cause that's like, that's like my tolerance level for it where I'm like, okay, 
I feel like that's a good place to stop, a good place to wrap up because it's like if we keep going, I'm just, I, which is what happens when I played Skyrim before is like you just end up playing for like eight hours straight because it's like, oh my God, you just keep falling into the next epic tale and it's like, what? I can't stop, you know? And so it's easier with VR because VR is very demanding, you know? Um, and I'm standing the whole time. I'm not playing seated or anything. Like, I'm fully engaged in what I'm doing. When I'm sneaking, I'm crouching and getting down and, like, you know. It's an, it's an engaging game. So, two hours is, like, a good, it's a good spot for me right now. And I'm enjoying it. Amassimo. And Amassimo. A cheese boy would not be very good at pillaging. No, he would be good at it. He would enjoy the spoils of the pillaging. He would like that. Oh, God, he's he not just precious. He's just precious. Oh, I love this boy. Mia showed me more videos of him when he was a puppy, and I just lost it, man. I just lost it. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Koozie! Lord, now I need to know how awful it is. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> That's horribly annoying and I hate it. I hate it so much. But thank you, Koozie. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. I want to hear the most annoying sound in the world. <laughs> I got a good laugh out of that. Thank you, Koozie. Thank you. Oh, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Don't move solves the problem. We can't. It's not our house. They're selling it. You know? I wish it was that... I wish it was that easy. Unfortunately, Haley, you cannot solve all uh, problems with violence. Sometimes violence is an answer. I have said that. You can quote me on that. Sometimes violence is an answer. In this case, not really. We can't. And to be fair, I'm going to be 100% honest... I would not want to own this house. I would not. I am so in love with like the fact that we got to live here for two years and it's so cool. It it ranks up there as cool of a place to live as when I lived on Venice Beach with Rhonda in her house. Like it it's right up there with like amazing places to live that I'm like, I cannot believe I've lived there. But would not want to own this house. And much in the same way I would not want to own the beach house on Venice either. Um, there's like, it's not perfect. And I'm certainly not going to dog the house that I've been living in. Okay. Cause I really do love it. And I've been very grateful for how nice it's been for us to be here. Despite having, we had an issue with mold because a window had been left open from the time that from b since before we moved in, by the way, it was not us. There was a window that was like 40 feet in the air. It's maybe not 40 feet. It's pretty high. Okay. It was a really high window. The big vaulted ceilings, the big top there's a little window okay little tiny window open just just tilted open so it was actually almost impossible to tell when you look at the angle from the floor you couldn't really tell that it was open all right you just had no idea turns out it was open for like six months mold makes its way in and then one day I'm walking outside and I'm like I'm looking on the wall and I'm like I touch it and I'm like ew what is that? And then I'm like, oh God, like all of a sudden I looked around. It was like a fucking horror movie where it was like, da -na, da -na, da -na. and it was just, there was, it was just everywhere. Mold was everywhere. And I was horrified that we were all going to like die of mold poisoning and it was going to be toxic to the dogs. And it was just like, immediately call the landlord. I'm like, please help. There's mold. We don't know. They couldn't figure out for the longest time what caused it. They were like, what? Like, why? Like, how? And we're like, we don't know. We didn't do anything. When the guys finally came to, like, clean the area, they got in the room, and they had to, they didn't even have a ladder high enough. They were like, we have to go get a special ladder to even get up that high to, like, clean that thing. Well, when they did, they went up there, and he was like, oh, I think I figured out why your mold got in here. And he was like, shut the window. I'm like, 
that'll do it. That it, like it wasn't like we moved in around Christmas, right? And it was not a big deal until it hit about summer. And once it had warmed up and there was more rain and there was like all of a sudden that moisture. So our, and we had thought there was just something wrong with our air conditioning system because that part of the house, like the air conditioning would run great in some areas. And then in that part of the house, it was just muggy and hot and like, ugh, well, there was a direct hole leading outside that was causing that. And it, that nice swirl of hot and cold uh, was like the perfect breeding environment for mold. Turns out, Turns out it was not poisonous mold. It was, it was, if you were going to have mold, it was the kind you wanted. It still took them like three months to clean and they had to seal up part of the house. They had to, um, like there were the big plastic windows and we could not go through. And my room was in part of the sealed off place. It was awful. Um, it was really, it was not fun. It was not fun at all. Um, so that happened. And, uh, and it's also just a really old house that has been remodeled a few times. And I don't know if you guys know this, but when you take an old house and you remodel on top of it, but if you don't do a really good job, it's like, it's like trying to connect Legos that don't connect. And then it's like where those Legos do not connect, you have issues like plumbing issues or air conditioning issues or whatever. Like there's a lot of issues with an older house we've discovered. And it's really nice to be like, not my house. Like that's a good thing. So while the house is amazing, this is not a house I would want to like, like I'm happy. I'm happy that it's like what I, what it is for me is like a brief experience. Cause two years is brief, you know? It is, but it was really nice. And that's, like I said, it, it, it ranks up there with me as like living on, uh, on Venice Beach, for real. Daniel and his golf ball. Was his name Daniel? I can't remember, but he might as well be. That was just hilarious. And he was so depressed. Like, I was so depressed when I was like, excuse me, um, your, your golf ball broke our window and I'm sure it's like it's not like he did it on purpose but I also don't want this guy to like I don't know pay like eight thousand dollars to replace this ancient window that he shattered that was like custom fit and some sort of what you know what I mean like I just didn't want to do that to the guy I don't want to do that to the guy and, and and still and yet here we sit with cardboard taped over the window you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. There's been a lot. There's been a lot. He was a younger guy. He was not really a Fred. He was a younger guy. Uh, and it was odd. I mean, he was golfing very early. And I'm like, you. it must have been the most gnarly slice to have hit from where he was standing to our window, I'm like, I don't know how you do that. Like that, that is impressive. I'm like I, I made some joke to him. I was like, if you had tried to do that, you would not be able to. Like I tried to be like, it's fine. Like I ain't mad at you, dude. I just, I just don't know what to do right now. And so I'm just trying to, as the person renting this place, trying to be responsible so that the people who own it don't come to me and being like, you just, you know, you just letting people break windows. And I'm like, I know, not really, but. <sighs> they're never going to fix the window. Of course not. No. Well, because it's custom. It's like everything else in this house. It's custom. They can't just like, you can't think about it. Where's a window shop. Do you know of a window shop? And anyone that does do windows is going to look at that and be like, I ain't got time to fix that. And like, you ain't gonna pay me enough. And also it's at a weird spot. And also it's like, it's like custom stuff. Nobody does. Nobody like we need a, we don't have like a, like, like a man built this like a house builder, a man that could do all of these things. And he customized everything in this house. Like that's not something you can just like call up the window people and be like, Hey, f like they don't do that. They look at it and they're like, Oh yeah. Custom. That's going to be really expensive to fix. We don't do that though. And then you're just on this search for like people to fix it. And it's like, that's insane. That's the same thing that's been going on with this freaking little room up above me. The loft that used to be Charlie's uh, stream room had the horrible insulation problems. This is from remodeling and not, you know, whatever. And they've had, I don't know how many people, how many vendors have looked at finishing that loft 
they will look at it and be like, yeah, I could do it, but I don't want to because it has a tiny little spiral staircase and a cramped little space that you've got to work in. And nobody wants to work in that. They're just like, I'll pass, you know, like, how, what do you do? What do you do in that case? And it's like exactly what they're doing. They just keep, I mean, so I know it's like, they didn't fix it, but like, it's not like, it's not like they're not trying. Okay. Uh, 8,000 might have been an exaggeration. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly because it's not up to me to fix it. I know it's very expensive and far more than a regular window should be. And nothing that a regular window place will or is even capable of fixing. The doorknobs are weird. Everything is weird. Everything is weird in this house. Everything is weird. I mean, it's awesome. But like if something goes wrong... It's like, there's no, there's no solution to this. <laughs> like, there's not. Uh, they just living that custom house baller house life. Yeah, sort of, I guess. Um... It is a stained glass window. It is, in fact, a stained glass window, Alec. And lucky for them, it wasn't the one that had art in it. It was just a strange... It was like a yellow with a weird texture type of glass. Like some sort of... It was just... I don't know. I don't know. But there's also another one that's got like a freaking... It's like a stained glass with a bird. It's huge. It's huge. And I've always been like, I don't know how that one's not gotten shattered yet. And then like, and then once that happens, like that's done. Like an artist, an artiste did that. You're not going to fix it. You want to call up the window people and they're going to be like, yeah, we can fix it. Like, no, they can't. They just can't fix it. It's insane. It's insane. It is. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do more, more stuff. Shana was filming stuff the other day. I almost killed her. In fact, like we were recording, and then as soon as we come, we're done. She comes in with a camera in my office. That's a mess. And she's like, "We're showing your wing of the house." And I'm like, "But I, I, I'm not. I'm not ready. I don't have anything. Stop." And it was just messy. And I hated it. But that's just how Shana does things. So I just dealt with it as best I could. Um, and then she said we were going to tell stories and then I have not had a chance yet. So I don't worry. I'll make sure to get a chance to tell my stories. Um, are you living in a church? Kind of. It's a, yes. I mean, it's yes. It's a little bit like that. It's very similar. <laughs> uh, oh God. Alex says, yeah, yeah, yeah. My wing of the house. It's true, though. It's true. It's the only reason we've been able to tolerate each other. As adults, like, yeah. How, how, each having our own space. It's really nice. Messamin. Not too bad. It's just, like... The thing is, it's not terrible. But it's n not what I would do if I was going to... If I was going to do a tour... I would at least clean up and like straighten up things. Cause it's like, I've got Stannis treats. I've got a Gatorade, a leftover Gatorade sitting over here. I've got my rag and a hair tie for my Oculus stuff. Like I just have crap laying that I'm like, I would, I would pick this up. You know, I like, I would pick this up and she's like, no, it's authentic. And I'm like, Ugh, whatever. It's fine. You know, it's fine. Show everyone the steps you jump up and down when we're filling my coffee. I will do that. I will do that. I have like a little I have like a little parkour uh routine that I do when going up and down my my steps into my apartment. Um stained glass puppy portraits in in the next house. There we do have portraits of both of the dogs though uh in this house, which is great. It's really great. Can you all hear that boy? 
snoring so sweetly and soundly. Okay. Good. Very good. It's a, it is, this is, this house, you know, we, we text in this house oftentimes and it's completely reasonable. You know, you're like, you're in the house and you're texting. Yes. Cause like to get up and go to someone else's area, it, it was, it is quite the hike at times. You know, when you're comfortable or something, it's like, and you can't yell. You can't. If you do, it's just going to upset puppy. And nobody wants to upset puppy. Hello and welcome back, Alpha Wolf. Alpha Wolf. Uh, Haley, I don't really know. I don't really know if they did. I don't really know if they did, you know. Um, I, or you, I don't know if you're talking about for us or for them, but no, not for us. And I don't really think for anyone selling it either. It's kind of a crazy house. It's a crazy house. It's a crazy house. It's a good story. It's a good house to tell stories about and I'm glad that I've experienced it so that I'll be able I'll be able to tell stories about this house forever the freaking snake oh my god which is like a crazy like people don't even realize like the setup for that like what I was doing the the part the part about Tegan in the story with the with the giant black snake is my favorite part because that's like it often gets left out because Shayna just remembers me with the machete which I can understand being like a, a vivid visual, right? That would stick with you. But the visual that stuck with me was me cornered by a snake going, help, somebody help me, help, help, help. And Tegan, Tegan, who was here visiting, heard me inside and like sprung into action like a superhero, like like came running to see, busts open the door and and... I'm mid sentence saying it's a snack. There's a snack, snack, snack. She sees it. She shuts the door and turns around and is like, "Nope, can't do it. Can't save her." Of all the things, she was she could not save me from the snack. She could not do it. And I love, I love that. I'll just, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. And I said, "It's okay. I, I understand. I do." It made, it warmed my heart so much though that she. She was the she was the first to jump into action, like without hesitation, without hesitation. But all she needed was one glimpse, and she was like, "I'm good." Nope, mm -mm. which was good. I wanted them to keep the puppy separate. I, I did not want to risk puppy coming in because puppy would go crazy, and it was a black snake. It wasn't poisonous or anything, but like I still want her to get bit. I don't. I don't want to get bit. You know, like it doesn't need to be poisonous. Like I hate when people are like, "Well, they're non venomous." Well, they still bite. Like, do, I don't want to get bit. Like, a bumblebee sting's not going to kill me. But I don't want to get stung by one. Like, that's not fun. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I hate the I hate the attitude of, like, it's not that. Yes, it is. If it can bite me, especially if it's that size, like, I, I it's, uh, I don't want that. <laughs> you know? I don't want that. Puppy been dramatic. I think puppy can feel stuff c coming. Honestly, Haley, I actually was thinking that when I when I saw that. It seems like she's doing it at nothing, but she has a, she has lived through several moves now, and I think she can feel and recognize when it's coming, and she does not like it. She does not she does not like change. She does not like her people shuffling around. Like she just does not like it, and that is my suspicion that that's what she's dealing with. Oh, that's adorable, Sussy. I'm so glad that your nephew is watching. I really am. And you are very welcome to both of you. Tegan would have fought a werewolf, but not a snake. Yeah. Yeah. And it can still cause an infection. Exactly. Exactly. Like, it's still not... Like, I, I really... I'm very adamant about that. When people are like, they're not poisonous. I'm like, do you want to get bit by it? Like, what? Like, <laughs> that's, I, just, I don't understand. Like... Uh, great, it won't kill me. I won't die. Like, oh my god. Like I said, though, a bumblebee sting's not gonna kill me. But I'll be damned if I want to get stung by one. 
Actually, bumblebees, if I recall, bite. They uh, they bite. Or at least the wood boars, which were what I grew up with, I thought they were bumblebees. I only found out as an adult that they are different things because they look very similar. And I grew up in a log cabin, and we had wood boars as a problem, right? They, they're literally, they look like a giant bumblebee, but they're all black, and they eat the wood. They're like a giant termite, basically, and they eat the wood, and they leave big holes in the wood. And it's not, that is not a good thing when you live in a log cabin, okay? You cannot, like, they can literally do enough damage to, like, ruin your house. Um, but they would bite. They could bite you, and it was just awful. And they were not typically aggressive. They were not, like, they were really not interested in humans. But if you stepped on one or, you know, irritated one or brushed one with your hand or whatever, like, they could still mess you up. And that is not, that is not fun. That puppy baby is very sensitive. That's really what I think it is. When she's just doing that, like, crying where she's just, like, she can feel that stuff. I think bumblebees sting, but the wood boars, I think, bite. Because that's literally what they have, like, their little pincers where they eat the wood. That's a di They're different than a bumblebee. I thought they were the same thing, but they are not. Bumblebees probably do sting. Wasp bite? Well, they also sting. That I know. <laughs> yeah, you probably wouldn't die from most poisonous snakes in North America. Right, right. People have also said that about, like, copperheads. Because I'm like, I where I grew up, copperheads were everywhere. They are poisonous. And people are like, yeah, but they ain't gonna kill you. Right? And it's like, okay, but, like, my hand falling off is not preferable. You know? Or a foot. Like, I'm, I would prefer to keep those things. Like, I would be happy to live. Believe me. But, like, uh, even with an antivenom saying, like, eh, if you, if it takes a long time, if you get bit in the ankle and then you have to hike off the mountain and then drive who knows however many hours to get to a hospital, maybe they don't even have the antivenom you need and you have to be airlifted to somewhere else. Hours have passed and by the time they get to it, they're like, yeah, yeah, we can save you. You're not going to die and have a heart attack from this, but your foot needs to be amputated. Like, that's not... And, and anything I ever want to experience. And I would, I, I, to me, that is, that falls into the category in the same level of danger and need to avoid as, like, if it could kill you. Like, that's pretty bad, all right? That's pretty bad. <laughs> you know? Tie 5 will be right back in 20 minutes. 20 minutes! Well, I'm getting very close to finishing my bulletproof. In which case... I, did I, how did that, it was like a perfect drop of coffee. Like, I don't know how that happened. Um, but I'm going to go get a fresh cup of coffee, the glorious second cup of coffee. Now that the Bulletproof is down, I have some, it's like basically my breakfast. The Bulletproof is basically my breakfast, which is great. Cause it gives me energy and it makes me, you know, feel like more full and I hate eating first thing in the morning, but I also need to eat, you know, it's not good if I was to put it off until I actually felt like eating, which is like 12 or one o'clock, probably not a good thing. So it's just nice. It's not ideal. No, right. Exactly. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think sometimes people try to justify things and, just, I don't know, and I often will say I am an optimist, but then again, I, I have things like this where I'm like, I see all of the ways this can go wrong, and I see it as a situation I should try to avoid because of the potential for it to go wrong. And I'm like, does that make me not an optimist? I don't know. I was talking about this the other day, and I'm like, it. I kind of consider it a superpower, but it also can be a weakness to see all of the options of how like a situation like I'm in this situation here's all of the ways it can go and typically it's like here's all of the bad ways it can go and and I feel that way because it's like okay I want to, I want to avoid those things I don't obsess about them and drag myself towards them or I try not to usually but like I still want to be aware of them I want to consider them 
Because I feel like that's how you avoid it. And I feel like being delusional and ignoring it and being like, eh, it's not going to happen. That's how shit happens. Like, that's how. And maybe you can't stop certain things. But I don't know, man. I just am much more of the mind of like, I would like to be aware and acknowledge it. And, and you know, and be in that space than to just be like, ah, it's not likely. You know, it's not likely. Like, they say it's not likely to be struck by lightning. Right? But I, there's a lot of people that have been struck by lightning. There's a lot of them. So, like, I'm not, I'm probably not going to go hang out in a tree during a lightning storm. Even if they were like, eh, it's really not that likely. You know, I'm like, probably still going to try to avoid things that uh, can get me struck by lightning. Just, you know, just because. Why not? Just because. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kevin. I am definitely going to send some good energy your way and for your pupper. And I'm glad that you are there to take care of them. Is it really like the bond we have with our pets and our animals is really special. And um, I've said it about puppy where it's like, I can't, I was not always there. Like sometimes when you adopt them, it's like, I haven't always been there since the beginning, you know, it wasn't necessarily possible, but when you can be with them through every other thing in their life, you know, all the way to the end, I think that's pretty special. And, um, so I'm glad that you were there to take care of your sick pupper. We are all sending good energy. I think we knew, Haley, that Tegan, that that you love Tegan. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. How long does it keep me fit? I mean, I don't, I, I drink the Bulletproof, you know, around eight, between eight and nine. I usually have that first cup of coffee. It's a Bulletproof. It keeps me feeling, once I hit my normal, I would like to eat time around 12 or one. Like, it's pretty good. It serves as a meal. It has like 120 calories in it, plus fat. Like, it's substantial it's not it's not nothing even though it's basically creamer it's not nothing um at least as far as your body is concerned and how it processes it so for me it's very good i'm not saying it works for everyone i'm not saying you know i'm not i'm not sponsored um but i do it works for me and i really like it an optim uh, an optimistic realist because i i do consider myself optimistic i really do but I'm also like, I see, I have this like ability to see all of the ways that things can go wrong. Um, and sometimes that can cause massive anxiety. And I've, it has taken me my entire life learning and st I'm still learning how to like control that. Ugh, fell in a wasp nest. Oh my God, yeah. Um, Big Daz, they, they, ha they have these giant ground nests and it's really easy to... Uh, my cousin drove through a nest on a four-wheeler and still got stung all to pieces because, and he was on a four-wheeler and he took off, but hitting it and then like, they are so fast and they chased him. They chased him. And you know, it's just insane. Like what a horror movie thing. You know, you'd think being on a four-wheeler, you could at least get away from it, but no, no, it was not fun. He still had like 20, 30 stings. It was awful. It was awful. Oh, that boy put his foot on me. That's a sweet boy. He's the sweetest boy. He's the sweetest boy. I love this boy. All right. Empty. Let's go get some more coffee. I'll be right back. We can start Valhalla. My vidya. Has, says it has 34 minutes to export, which just means I haven't even uploaded it yet. This is just exporting it from basically Adobe Premiere. So we still got some time, but it's working. All right. It's, it seems to be working. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn my controller on. Oh, that boy. He's so sweet. That boy's so sweet. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Let me get my fresh second glorious cup of coffee. 
I will be right back. I hope that you will still be here. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for being here and watching. Whether you're a member or whether you are lurking in the lagoon, I appreciate your view time. It is very valuable and um, I hope you stick around because I'm going to be back in just a few minutes. Okay?
Okie dokie. We back. We back. Hello, Steve. How are you? Oh, I love the sound of this menu. It's my favorite. Probably one of my favorites ever. Have you been playing uh, Valhalla, Steve? MC has gone into lurk mode. No problem. Lurk away. Lurk away. What's everyone's favorite donut? Foof. Foof. Um, I like a good, like, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but like a donut with the pink frosting and the sprinkles, a good one. The last really good one I had was at the Lard Lads place in the Simpsons Land in Universal. They had a donut shop when we were there for Halloween Horror Nights and we had to walk through that area and they, they, they sell a giant version of that donut, and I got the, the small, normal version of that donut, and it was amazing. But I love the pink. If they're good, like the good pink frosting with sprinkles on a donut, I'm so there. Otherwise, I want them filled with things. I like a good, you know, like a jelly-filled donut of some sort. And I also like a good uh, classic plain, like a regular old glazed donut. Fresh, hot, oh yeah. Oh, Eivor, I've missed you. I've missed you, Eivor. Oh, my dear Eivor, look what a bad ass. Look what a bad ass. Okay, we have right, right, right. Chilbert, Chilwolf, Lilfrith. Ah, yes, 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 yes. And Burgrid. Ah, the king that we're trying to unseat. Yes, yes. I forget what we were doing, but now I remember. We have Chilwolf and we have little Chilbert, who's going to be getting some uh, some combat experience, perhaps. We have a lot to do. Mm. Here we are. Oh, there's a there's Orlog in this camp too. Here. Don't mind me, just riding a giant wolf. A wolf. A wolf. Wee. There we are. Wolfie, you help yourself to the camp. Have whatever you like. I do fancy a game of Orlog. Orlog. Speaking of, I've got Orlog. I actually wanted to do it. I actually wanted to do a little video. Entertainment. I'm gonna save it. Let's, Let's play. begin. Excellent. Let's, Let's just play. Ah, uh, woo! What do we got? Multiply. Damn! Oh, Jesus, that's a lot. Heal health for each attack you block. That's not a bad one. But what do I have? Ignore. Your arrows ignore that. Let's try this one. I like this strategy. Let's do this one. Heads or tails? Tails! No! Damn it. Take care, Kuzi! Thank you for dropping in, man. You were first, and no one can deny it. I hope you have a nice sleep, my dude. I would, like, thank you for the videos, but I really am not... I'm not going to. <laughs> Oh, Lord. I'll take it. I need all the God favor I can get. Hmm. <clears throat> I ain't scared of you. Not versus anyone, Sussy. Not versus. 
But I would like to. Oh my god. No, get away. Alright, here we go. You, and you, and you, and you. Eight plus one, two, three, four, five, which equals thirteen, but then we cancel each other out. So I think I could. Let's do it. We're gonna hit him hard and fast. Lock, lock, two, and then, but I hit for eight. I go boom. Victory will be Shit! Mine. Look Come at that. On. They only got four health. Oof. I'm hitting them hard. Interesting. Hitting them hard. But now he has a fair amount of God favor that I don't have. Come on, Eivor. Get the roll in. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. This one. Oh, I don't. I don't have enough. Or what? I guess not, actually. Hmm. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's seven, and then they steal two, and I steal back to six. Nope. Your defeat is imminent. I got him. I got him. Hit him for two. Boom. Cast. I'm getting good at this. Yeah. More unlike anyone I've played against. When there's crossbones again, come. No, no. I've had enough. Another time, perhaps. Well, that was fun. Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy that, Wolfram? Yes, yes. Hey, who are you? I'm eager to see you fight, Eivor. Show us old wolves a thing or two. Eivor. First one to board red gets to string him up by his dangly man wattle, then oh jab him in his fat head. Let's get through these walls first, Ivar. Ivar. Lord, light my way. Poor little Chailbert. He's so sweet and innocent. Sigurd? Sigurd, brother? Let's make short work of this, Ivar. England is a big place. <gasps> How about a round of dice? All right, let's go. Who are you? I'm with the Reknesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's attack. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. Woo! Get your sword, little what Chilbert. What are we going to do about him? Jail there. Something wrong. I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. 
There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. This is cool! I need to put my helmet on. It's fighting time. Let's go. There, wait. Yep, yep. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, Eivor. Yeah. Let's go. Destroy the gate. Slaughter the soldiers. Leave the king to me. Where are you at, son? Forward! Who's forward? What are we doing? Are we bashing this? Let's bat- Ah! Jesus! Can I help? Can I help? Come on! Yeah! Can you believe this was an actual way of doing things? God! Come on. Oh, Type 5, I said uh, you were on your break. Yeah! I have it. I just wanted to do a video, and that's why I didn't show it. It's really cool. Yeah! So we'll have Orlog IRL very soon. There we go! Yeah! Roll it! Roll it! The path is blocked! We must destroy that barricade! Not for long! Yeah! Before me! Woo! Oh, one more! Yeah! Roar! Go, go! Push, push! I'm burning! Fear not! Just run it! Oh, damn! Damn! We're missing some people! We need some people! Oh! Back it up! 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 Ugh. We need more! We need more people! There we go! Come on, big boy! Come on, come on, come on! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! That's it! Oh, come on! Back it up, back it up! Ow, 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 ow! Here it is! Oh, come on! Oof. There we go. We did it! Cut down their marksmen and elites, or they'll thin us out one by one. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Yep. 
Okay. There we are. Destroying everyone! Alright, who else we got? Where, where are we going? Alright, here we go. Up, up, up. Go, Eivor, go! Get him, finish him, finish him. Very nice. Oh, Mr. Keeman. Come here, Mr. Keeman. I need your key, Mr. Keeman. Nope. Excuse me, just raiding this house real quick. Wrong box. Why would you do that? Yeah, there we are. Food, keys. Oh, very nice. Feel my breath. I did that. I'm not really worried about it, my man. Now, Ivar, crazy. <laughs> Beautiful, brilliant, fun. Okay. The loot is so nice. All right, let's. We gotta gather up all the good loot, all of it, before we go on in. It's over, Burkret. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Hmm. I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think he's ready to be done. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh my god, not a piece of paper. God. Whee! Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. How do I get that? A jump off that? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where did it go? Did it go through these trees? <laughs> Must have. It won't. I won't. That's insane. I gotta do it again. I understand now. I understand now. And it's still going. Wherever it's at, it's still going. I'm gonna climb up here and get a sip of coffee, and then we'll try again. Now it's back. Great. Great. Okay. Here we go. Let's try this again. Wee. I was trying so hard to grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I'm the worst. 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 Let's just run along the ground, I suppose. Oh, there it goes. I'll never grab it now. Nope. There we are. And then we go, and it goes, and it goes. And there it is at the end of this freaking thing. Oh, you son of a mother. Oh. That's so crazy. How stupid. It's fine. Let's do this. Where's the gold I was seeking first? The treasure I was seeking! Yeah, I can see that, Steve. This one sucks. Oh, there was a door right there. <laughs> I've done pretty good on all of the uh, paper chases uh, until this one. And now I'm like, okay, this one sucks. This one sucks. I will I will admit that. This one sucks. Where'd they go? Ah, bottom here. This guy. We can get that. If I failed the paper chase again, I'll grab that one. They're like, what's Eivor doing? We're trying to bash down. We've got to, we have to unseat this king. And Eivor's like, one minute, I'm just I'm chasing some paper. Everyone, don't mind me. Was there an equivalent of this in Odyssey? Was it feathers? I can't remember. If there was or was not. Everybody's just chilling. Oh! 
Jesus. Oh god. Up you go. Oh my god, for sure, Big Daz. The visuals in this game, no matter what you're doing, it's just gorgeous. Alright. Excuse me, friend. I have a payment to chase! Huzzah! Alright, and we go, and we go. Wee. Wee. Run through. Uh-huh. Wee. Run through. Wee. Okay, keep going. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yep. Keep it moving. We jump. Jump! And then we jump. Jump! And we run across. So jump! Across. And jump! Oh, this is the one. This is the one. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. Jump! Jump! Go, go! Uh, jump! There we go. Ah! No! Did I get it? Did I not get it? Is it up? Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, God. I got it! I got it! Yeah! Yeah. I did it! Mmm! And I'm right by the gold somewhere here. Is it in there? Oh yeah. God dang, that felt good. Whew! I thought I screwed it up. But then it actually was good that I grabbed that thing and, and lifted myself that way. It actually worked out. can go talk to the Kang. Or the soon-to-be-not King. Oh. 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 Yeah, I think it's kind of unreal. The the visuals, the scope of this game, and I, I don't know, uh, there are a lot of complaints, and I guess just different people value different things in games, or looking for different things, or whatever, and it's like anything, you're never gonna make a game that's gonna please everyone, right? You're never gonna make a game that everyone's gonna say, yep, it's perfect. It just is not gonna happen. But, I do think it's hard to, like, just say, like, oh, this is bad. Like, really? God. Even if it's missing or lacking certain elements, I think it is a, it's a pretty sh far stretch to say, oh, this is bad. But, whatever. Alright, let's go. He's gone. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I did notice we were short one Athelink. Where was the son of our king? Chilbed was around. It may be you missed him. Your lies are just like you, Eivor. Big and bold. Seems Leovred is at odds with his king. But bound to duty. Mm-hmm. A loyal man. What is this? You're speaking with one of your own trouble is his name. Okay, so they knew. Hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Yeah. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Oh. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. Ah. She could have told him anything. 
sold him secrets about me, about Repton, our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's thanes. You must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, mm. I suppose. Tona is our only lead. We talk to her, find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. Great. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. And my axe. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time, but keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. This is true. All right. You got anything else to say, Chewolf? That Dane merchant, Tonna. She must know something about where Burkwitz is. Oh, this bitch. Playing both sides of the war. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Here we go. What do we got here? Ooh. This is interesting. Hmm. I want this. So I'll get that. Little Danax mastery never hurt nobody. Let's play with it then. Superior Danax. What about this one? That's a bearded axe. Yeah. Ooh, a big axe for your back? That was worth it. That tattoo is cool. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let's go here. At my axe. <laughs> Wolfie! Where's my Wolferson? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Come here! There we are. Yeah! Now we gotta take things up with old Tona. Tana, Tona, Tana, Tona, Tana. Like you, bitch. Who do you think you are? Hmm. Oh, Jesus, sorry, Crow. Good Lord. This is not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Calm, Ivar. Me and Aver will take care of this. I know. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Eivor and Uba will wait us. here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Eva from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. 
A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern Son hunt. of a bitch. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. Oh, we brought an axe, all right. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's... Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Um... Hmm... That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgeret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clods. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. What? Yeah, whatever. Half is all you're getting. We're gonna we're gonna kill her, don't worry. When Sheowulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? That you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount, and maybe Sheowulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas, Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know. Not more, not less. We are done here. Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch. Indeed. We are now welcome in Tonus Theater. So that's good. I'm gonna get the treasure. Hey, uh, hey, what's your name? Why are you still here? Because I want to loot your village, lady. How's that for you? Huh? What up, Millie? How's it going? Supplies, nice. Okay. I heard a boy's lips going. Boy, it's not time yet. It's time for you to sleep, sweet boy. Sleep, sweet boy, sleep. Hey, man. Uh, can I have this? I need this key, my dude. Thanks. They'll never notice a thing.
put a Massimo under a spell. Sleep, sweet cheese. Sleep. What's the Hocus Pocus song? Come, little Massimo. I'll take you away. Boy, you want to come sit with me? You want to come sit with me? Oh, that's the cutest, the handsomest boy. He really is. He's the handsomest boy. Jazz just love that boy. I really love that boy so much. Oh, wait, wait, we got, we got big treasure underneath. I'm going to go see what's under this, uh, or where this, this entrance to below takes us. <laughs> Whoops. We looked up what Massimo means as a name. Turns out it means... I should not be seen in this area. Ooh. A rough translation is uh, the greatest, and we thought that was quite appropriate. Turn around, Dane. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Oh, really? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Don't, don't, I don't need to. Hey, what? Uh oh. Oh boy. Hey man. That homie dropped. Holy shit. Clean up the mess quickly now before anyone sees. Do, 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 do. Good morning, Jameer. How are you, my friend? I hope your day is wonderful. Thank you for your support. It's a good week to be had. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy we've all made it. I'm happy to be playing Assassin's Creed. I just, I'm happy. I'm just happy, you know? It's a good feeling. All right, there we go. Now, back to what I was doing. We've cleaned up the mess. I like the dude that tried to jump down and just died. Oof, oof, oof. <gasps> One of my favorite clips ever. Ever. Wait a minute, I'd be your own for When you're saying encounters with this. Wait a minute, is Evar doing some shady shit? Wait a minute. Am I crazy? Am I crazy?
think I'm missing everything but the cloak. Damn it. Ivar is a nut job also as well. This is true. All right, I like this. And then what's this? More ranged damage. Doesn't hurt. There we are. The power is 82. I like it, I like it. Damn, we gotta find that. We gotta find the, the my huntsman cloak. Here we are. Ability. Raven Distraction. What are these? Hmm. Uh, what do we got here? I love it. Good. I'm very excited to watch it as well. Speaking of movies, oh my god. Okay, so you guys know RJ City has been tweeting and talking on his show about Mario Cantone hosting the TCM, like the month of October. Uh, every Sunday, there's a double feature, and Mario Cantone has picked both of the movies to watch. And we've watched most of them, and they're like old horror movies. Not like even traditional horror, but like there, it's been it's been all over the place. This, I watched Little Shop of Horrors for the first time because of this. Best not to draw attention here. And last night, I watched a movie called Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, and I swear to God, y'all, it has it still has me shook. I I have found a new appreciation for some of these older movies because I'm I'm like I can't, I can't believe that this is a movie. I can't believe that this is a movie. Like, that the, the stuff that they filmed and did, I'm like, man, is blowing my mind. And it was incredibly disturbing, okay? Um, and for a movie made in like the 60s, I was just like, dude, it's crazy how there's very little gore, there's very little of a lot of stuff. A lot of things are implied the other side. and whatever. It's crazy how, how shook it has me still and i just i loved it so much i enjoyed it so much and i really just can't stop talking about it and then oh hello bad idea lovely huh? dove hey hey now hey i'm going to make you regret it sorry tona i knew this was going to i knew this is how this was going to end i knew this is how this is going to end i am taking your head back to the ragnarsons that'll teach them to cross me hey tona how about a harpoon yeah Woo! Woo! Oh, hello. Wait. Hey! Oh, you almost died. We all knew this is how this was gonna go. Tona needed to die. This is Just in case. Oh! Hey, man. What's up with that, dude? No! No, you are dead! Dead! Yeah, I'm a, I'm in love with the Dane axe, dude. It's gotta be one of my favorites. Clever. Let's see what secrets you keep, Tona. Joan Crawford, yeah, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, who have like a legendary feud on top of everything else. Um, 
and genuinely hated each other. But, dude, I swear I was just like so shook. So shook. Oh, take care, Loco. I appreciate you, man. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. Sorry to send you off with disturbing thoughts of, you know, whatever happened to baby Jane. Just, like, what a horrible thing to have happened to you and, like, I, I mean, I, I feel bad because I'm like, I don't want to spoil it, but, like, oh my god. I just, like, I can't believe, like, like, what a horrible way to die and, and be treated and I, I'm just, like, it's insane to me that they were just like, yep, we're just gonna film this. Like, what? This is insanity. This is insanity. Where is the gold? Mr. John Nash, hello, how are you? Thank you so much for your support. I'm glad you're here. And I really appreciate being called your favorite YouTuber. I mean, I hope that you're talking about me. Um, but even if you aren't, you know what? I'm just happy that you're here even to say hello. It makes me very happy. So thank you, John. Oh. What? Hmm. Oh, get down. Get down, Eivor. Get down. And John Nash, I appreciate the uh, four months of support as a pro gamer. A pro gamer, no less. Um, I appreciate that so very much, John. Ah, there's the gold. Yeah, Tona was bad news. I'm totally fine, like... Just, uh, disposing of her. Not, not a, not a fan. Not a fan of Tona at all. Alright, let's go find, wait, did I get in it? No. Hmm. Let's see if we can get out of here without uh, alerting the rest of the cavalry. No problem, Sabretooth. Enjoy your running around. Adulting, it can feel good. Sometimes we dread it, but the, the, the feeling afterwards is quite worth it, in my opinion. So... So seek that feeling, Sabretooth. Ah, there we go. Bang. There we are. Sorry, sheeps. Sorry, sheeps. Just, uh, you know, collecting what we can. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's this? Hey, you're a spy. What are you? Yeah, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? You killed him! Kill who? Who'd I kill? Huh? Shouldn't have come, uh, woo! Make him do a little backflip. <laughs> Whoopie! Whoopie Wooferson! Oh, the best boy. The best boy. Can you imagine a giant, like, Stannis-shaped mount like this? How cute that would be? Because I can. This boy, he's being restless. I will have to take him out in momentarily. Kevin, thank you so much! I appreciate you back. It's like, you say I appreciate you, and I say I appreciate you back, Kevin. So thank you so much for that. Um, you're very welcome. I enjoy what I do as well, so I, f I feel almost guilty sometimes when people are like, thank you, because I'm like, I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. So I'm just glad that it, it just works for other people as well. But thank you for the support, Kevin. 
Now, let's tell them that I've murdered Tona. Sigurd's told us the news. Well done. Lelestra and Temple is it. What do you know about them? Hmm. Lederchus is a large village. And Templebroch. Templebroch. It's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrit could be at either one. We should check both as soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to <laughs> Burkrit now, offering silver for a warning about us. You won't be seeing her again. Not unless you're bound for Helheim. I'll collect now, if you don't mind. Ah. This one takes after me, brother. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me led the Chester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon. Yes! Yes. Always. Is this where we're going? Yeah. What's that? So you can choose which of them you hit first as well. Let's go. Wait, no, nope, never mind. That is higher level than I am prepared for. A handbag. Yes, a, a handbag, madam. All right, Wolfram, where are you, my dear sweet Wolfram? In fact, actually, I need to take a real quick break and I'll see if this boy needs to go outside. He might have to poop. We'll see. It's probably gonna wake him up and he's gonna wanna play. But right now, it's actually raining, which I'm really hoping it clears up by the time I'm done streaming and I can take this boy swimming in the pool. He can get his swim swam on. He, honestly, even if it's a little cloudy, I, I will take him out because he just wants to swim. It's just, it's been getting colder lately and he doesn't like it as much. You can tell he's like, ugh. So I, I, I try to, I'm, I really wish it would be sunny for him. Poor boy, he just wants to swim, swam. That boy loves it. Um, oh, what are you guys doing? Having a group hug over there? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, let's see. Yeah. Wolfie, we'll yeah. I'm gonna take a real quick break as soon as I get around this mountain. Hey ya! Oh my goodness, he's laid up on the on the vent where the cool air. Boy, you hot! You hot boy, you need to cool down. Maybe the swim would be nice for you, hmm? Yeah, but then you get cold and then you don't want to fetch. That's how he always goes. Alright, here we are. Ooh, is this another mushroom challenge? Maybe. We'll see when we get back. I'm gonna pause. You're gonna leave a like on this video if you haven't done it yet. Because that's the tax and you have to pay it. Uh, and then I'll be back in just a few minutes before um, we continue on with our journey. What is it? I think it is maybe something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'll be right back. Remember, leave a like. Helps me out a lot. It's free. You don't even have to be subscribed, although I hope that you are. Um, we're on our way to 30,000. That's my goal, all right? I said 50,000 last year, and we fell short, but that's okay, because I feel like this year, 30,000, totally doable. Totally doable. And I think if all the people that watch that aren't subscribed and don't realize it, I think if all those people just subscribe, we'll be good. Because I do think I have those numbers. So just check. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, make that decision. Make the right one. And I'll be right back, okay?
And I'm back, everyone. I'm back. Come here, boy. Come up here to me. This boy did not want to go outside. This boy did not even want to leave this room. So, so we didn't. I mean, he didn't. But we'll check on the next break, won't we, boy? Come here. Come to me. That's right. Dash my boy. Dash my sweet little a she's boy. A she's a sweet, a sweet She's. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. It's okay, boy. Nobody panic. Nobody, nobody panic. It's okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus. This thing has got to go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's a boy. I had to take my, I had to take my hoodie off. But then I thought, well, that's a good time this boy can come in. And I'm like, what if I get cold, though? And it's okay, because this boy will keep me warm, won't you, boy? Oh, my goodness, you the best boy. Let's look at, oh, hold on. Let's look at this boy. Hold on, in full screen. Wait, boy, wait. I know, I know, I know. I know, this your boy. He's up all the way. I know. Mm. You're the best. Oh, I love when you just look up at me like that. That's the sweetest. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is the best right here. This is like therapeutic, guys. I know. I know. Oh, my goodness. I love this boy. I love this little speckled ear. I love this little speckled ear. He's so sweet. That boy's so sweet. Goodness. This is the reward for everyone that waited while I took a break. This is your reward. You get to see this boy snuggle my face with his face. It's one of his favorite things to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, what'd you hear, boy? What did you hear? You want to say hello to your your loyal subjects? Hmm? You want to say kiss this paw. Kiss the paw. Mwah. Kiss the paw. Mwah. Oh no, that's my boy. That's your boy, the best boy. That's your best boy. Oh goodness, yes, get them screeches. Get them screeches. I think you'll be fine today. I, it was looking much sunnier right now than it was this morning. So that made me feel a lot better about where things will be when I'm done streaming. So that this boy can get his little swim swim on. Put on his little life jacket. He loves it so much. I never seen a boy love something as much. This boy loves swimming like puppy loves that scooter. It's so true. He loves it. He gets so excited to come over here. And he just shakes, wanting to go out. Okay, you trying to get cozy. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. He's like, please, shh. You're not ready to do anything today, though, are you? Boy, you get your sleeps. You get your sleeps on. I love when he's cuddled and he starts kicking his little feet like a baby. It's just, the, like, the cutest, cutest thing. All right. Here we go, boy. Yeah, you can go down there. Yeah, yeah, good. This is uh, good. Very good. <laughs> I love a boy. I love a boy. Mwah. The paw is kissed. You hear that, boy? They kissed a paw. These are very good. Uh, my video has 14 minutes until it's done exporting. Oh, Lord. Now, now let us see where we're at. Oh, Lord. Okay, yeah, we got to see what this is all about. And there's some gold for later. Uh, what's this, man? Huh? Whoa! What the hell kind of magic was that? I'll take ya. Got 
Thank you, boy. My viewers have gone up considerably. You are too sweet, too kind, and such a good star of my stream. <laughs> kind of remember this. You like have to look at it in the right way or whatever. Here lie still more remnants of the Nephilim. Nephilim. I have marked a symbol upon the stones. That future folk may imbue their spirit with I the see. energy within. I for those see. who wish to seek communion with the Lord hey. here, Boy. be wary. For he speaks through ciphers, and his words are woven with Word. ancient fibers. He is manifest here. He hath made importance of these pillars brought by the giants of yore, now guarding us, as only he knows. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord. All right, we gotta make this symbol then. Like this. Come on, I see it. How do I make it? I get it? Hey, we did it! I feel something. Light and heat. Ooh! I got one skill point. What am I going to do with it? Ball master. I see. These boys are asleep in my lap. I love it so much. He's a good boy. Jameer, I think they make uh, like you know meal things you can you can order, where it's basically a cooked meal prepared for you, and all you got to do is heat it up. It's basically what it is, You're paying for someone else to do the prep work and cooking for you. we got on the map here. 
as we make our way across. God, I kind of want to fight Red Walda. Like, I'm getting so... I'm getting closer. We're at 83. Power level 83. Like, this is good, you know? Okay, there's a thing. Um, Sigurd and Uba are here. And then what's-his-name is here. Part of. Part of. Yeah. Let's hit this one first, and then we'll we'll make a decision. Yeah. Whoopsie! Ooh. You will attack on sight here. Well, in that case, then let's. He's a big boy. Here comes big boy. Best be going now. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Your life ends now. Sounds good, Sci Five. I hope work does not suck. We will see you soon, one way or another. Damn you, rat! Who you calling rat? This rat just wrecked your whole crew, man. in this like fight club I think it is all right there you speedy hair yeah. no entry to you past this point ah. without a password to anoint <sighs> Whew. stand aside or face my wrath stand aside and let me in I'll have no sorry qualms boy wiping clean He's that okay. grin you'll be less pale more black and blue and none shall care for the likes of you. Whoa. Oh, God, a poet just like me. Yes, yes, your entry will be free. Now ball your fists and step right in. There's fun to be had and bones broken. Yeah, it's a little weak. The bones huh. broken bit. Sorry, boy. Lay back down. Are you ready? I am ready. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. It's Let's Fight Club. See if you don't take a fall against the one they call the Wall, Edward of Lincoln. Edward of Lincoln. I'm up. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Keep me starting before I'm ready, man. Oh fuck! Smack! Got him. Um, I what right now I'm wearing the Raven gear. Was an Sussy. Treat. All Raven. All you Raven gear. Just like a noodle. Favorite thing to eat. I like noodles too. It would please me to no end to watch you fight again. So whenever, now or then, return promptly to my den. You want down, boy? You want down, boy? Here you go. You may go. Go on. You may go. Dad's a sweet boy. Dad's a sweet, the sweetest of sweet boys. Ah, uh, here we go. My dude, my dude. Let's fight. 
This is totally like medieval fight club. Ah, ah back again. Ready mm. for more? I'm ready. ready. Splendid. There may be shared blood in your veins against this rapid firing Dane. Bola of Kent. Bola. Let's go, Bola. Whoa, look at this weirdo. Oh, can't block red. Nope, can't block red. What? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, get off me, get off me. Look at that flying butt attack. This dude's crazy. Got him. That's it. Wham! Oh, yeah. The helmet is cool, but for Fight Club, I want it off. Or at least, you, you know. Hey, man. It was a good fight, you weirdo. <coughs> I appreciate his long, lanky, odd fight style. Ah, back again. Mm -hmm. Ready. Uh -huh. And now for your opponent. I think it's time your head got stung. For none remain but the silver tongue. One on one, you'll fight with me. <gasps> Champion of the BBB. Woo! Let's go, big boy. <laughs> Oh! Whoa! Wow! He tried to drop an elbow on me? Oh, 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 oh! Come on. Can't block the red. Thick skull he is. There he is. Got him. Done, son. Uh. Now who's champion of the BBB? Never been in such a fight. You wallop me with all your might. It seems to me you've proven to be champion of the BBB. I am honored. I think. I think. Go on now. Carry our name with only pride and never shame. Remember how it was you came to be blessed with so much fame. Farewell. Thank you. I love it. Good stuff. That's a fun one. There it is. Hmm. Very nice. I intimidated my way in. Wasn't necessary to see the password. So we got this guy up here. We got a raid over there, which would be quite quite handy, I think. But I also want to hit this. I got some gold down here. We got old Red Walda. What did I... Did I not get this one either? Damn. Hmm. Hmm. 
Come on, Wolfie. It's time to go. I love how Wolfie can just trample the iron now. It's so nice. Clean sweep and fight club, hell yeah. Eivor's pretty formidable. So no one should no one should be surprised. She's Eivor of the Raven Clan. She walloped the walloper guy. Remember him? He was like, I've got the legendary wallop, and I walloped him. I mean it took a few tries, but but I did it. So, you know. It felt appropriate. It felt like this is this makes sense. Okay. Oh lord, careful now. Go we'll on. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Here. <gasps> hey, you jumped over that. Stop. I want you to smash. There it is. Hell yeah. Wolfie Smith. Get out of here, Goose. No one likes you, Goose. Just a fun little side thing, you know? It just adds a little flavor to the world. I enjoy it. Who knows, it may uh, actually, you know, come in handy that I can claim I'm champion of the BBB. I didn't even look what it was, what that stands for. Does anyone oh, know? The Brawling Brothers of Belfast or something like that? I don't know. There should have been some women in that fight club, though. There definitely should have been. with some... Ooh, wait a minute. <gasps> How did I miss that? Hey Damn, we gotta go get it. It's an artifact. I I like that I set the uh, oh difficulty in such a way that you have to actually get yeah. close to things on the map for them to show up. And that it's not like everything just doesn't appear. Like I actually, I'm I'm encouraged to explore with. I feel like these settings. Oh, this is one of those cursed places. Hmm. I can feel it. Let's go. Gotta be. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the noises. Get out. I'm on fire. Roll. Stop, drop, roll. Stop, drop, roll. There you go. mess that someone would have to at some point come by and just clean up. You know? Yeah. Think about that, like, whatever happened to those villages that were, like, burnt, raped, and pillaged, people, yeah. bodies left hanging, and, like, that's it. Eventually, somebody wandered around, or wandered to these places, and either kept moving, because they're like, well, this place is clearly not a good place to be, or they cleaned it up. 
that. And I'm like, God, what a what a horrific thing, especially if you didn't actually know what caused it and why and just oh my god and like is it gonna happen again and lord and mercy i just can't imagine dude i cannot imagine we're forgetting fight club's first rule avor does not play by these rules avor does whatever avor wants get up there yeah yeah. <laughs> One moment, Woofy. you do that? Smash it. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are we doing? Hmm. What have we here? Ah, we have a lot. As a matter of fact. Okay. Well, let's do something. We got a Danax. around here. Yes. wonder this dude's fucking me up. Yeah. Ow, yeah, they are not a joke. Oh my lord. take those guys out. They were not good. The arbalists. the big burly brawlers. That makes sense. That makes sense.
feel like big burly brawlers is like too obvious though. I feel like if they don't give you an answer, it's because it's something funnier than that. Scout camps, okay. This is good because I need to keep getting these as well. I have a lot of armor I'd like to upgrade. Just because I like options. I'm a fan of options. What do we got now? So we got this boy across the street. Whatever this. What do you say we try to fight old Red Walda again? And just see. You know, we, ju we should at least just see. We're power level 83. Let's go. Ooh, wait, maybe I don't have enough. I definitely need a full... Um, rations and such. So beautiful. Now, where's these bushes so I can refuel fuel my... Redwalda. Oh. the berries or or anything anything that heals really Oh god. I'm not
set your ass on fire. Ah. Oof. Block the red. <laughs> God, really? Like right away? Still did it. Holy shit. Ah, that would just came confound you. How did you do that? How'd you do that? Oh. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Oh no! I'm not gonna do it. Not going to do it. <laughs> Oh my lord, I might actually do it! Oh my god, I did it! Holy shit, with a sliver of health left, no more heals. I did it! Amazing! Well done! Well done! Let's talk, Redwalda. I once surfed and prayed on the St. Chad at Tamworth. I was a monk. I should have stayed there. A monk? Did St. Chad die with his axe in his hand? St. Chad will be revered for avoiding the axe. I wish I had done so myself and not taken a path full of violent honor. The old gods will fade from our sight in time. God forgive me for I have sinned. Amazing. Did it. Did it. Got you, Red Walda. Got you, Red Walda. The Zealots. And then we got skill points to add. This is always good stuff. That's kind of cool. Wait, Eivor can use their bow abilities while mounted? What? How? Amazing. I've just made myself a better looter. Great. Amazing. Amazing. So there's gold there, and then we can hit this place. Let's go. I was unprepared for that battle. Didn't have a great battle. Got kind of lucky with him turning his back and getting that final shot with the bow. But because I had enough arrows, that was really what enabled me to do that. That was really the, the kicker there. The bow is very powerful. Yeah. It's so satisfying to take out those yeah. mini bosses like that. I mean, it's basically what they are, right? 
And Red Walda is one of the earlier ones. Although, the one that I saw in that other place, I could probably take out now, too. It was not Red Walda. I can't remember the name. But he was a, he was a tough one, too. And I was not... I was, like, I don't know, like, level 30. And I saw him, and I was like, Oh, no, we're not going to be able to do this. Hey, what's going on here? Is this all run down? God's here, I'm vigilant. Did I miss something here? No, it's across the street. The wa the river. <laughs> the street. I guess that too. It's like a street for fish. Ooh, here we go. Alright, hang out here, Wolfram. Let me deal with things. I was anticipating a, uh, assassinate key, but didn't get it. Oh, well, it's fine. We still got them all. They, they, that was it. How are we doing on supplies and whatnot? Do we have enough to build Valka's hut? That's the real question. Nope, because she needs the raw materials, which you get from the raids, which I have not done yet. That's one I can do, but we'll do that when we sail upriver. That one is in a higher level area, as you see, not something we want to do. But this, now this we can do, we can do something with. We gotta find and speak to Ivar here. go find our way and then when we do I'm gonna take a real quick break I need to use the restroom I'm gonna get some Gatorade cuz I'm about done with my coffee so it's time to hydrate we got to counteract all the uh, you know the diuretic effect of the caffeine which I enjoy so much but uh, give myself a good I'll, I'll maybe I may even go out and actually praise the Sun and get a nice stretch so this one may be more of like a five minute break but it's because we've got a lot of good stuff to, to get to, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Can I fish? Gotcha. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. Oh, my, my ravens! That is a thing! Holy shit, it's amazing. That means that the fishing is like a total game changer right here. I love that my ravens are looting for me now. You scared off all the fish, eh? Hey, there you go, get them. Thank you. How good is that? How good is that? Thank you. I now don't have to worry about not getting the loot of certain things. Oops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie! Alright. Oh, rations are full then, huh? Oh, are you... Hey, boys. Hey, boys. What up, boys? We chillin'? We chillin'? I love it. Uh, 
It's all right, it's all right. Oh my God, I got him. Thank you. Your hood up, Avor. Ah, he's way up there. Oh my god. Well, this isn't suspicious at all. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. There we are. Oh my god, we did it. Evar, my man, my dude, my boy, what's up, crazy some bitch? Here we go. Give me one moment. I'm at like a five minute break. Five minute break. It's noon. I'm gonna see if this boy wants to go outside. I will get a nice little stretch in. I'm gonna get some Gatorade to drink. Use a restroom, and I'll be back. And then we're gonna see what part two of this or the part of the Kingmaker saga here, chapter two, with our good friend Evar. And uh, who knows? I can't really remember what happens, and uh, that's probably for the best. So I'll be back in like five minutes, guys. Don't go anywhere. Leave a like on the video if you haven't done that yet. Otherwise, uh, you know, maybe get a good stretch. Hydrate yourself. Take a moment. Give yourself a moment. Just, you know, just ask yourself how you're doing. You can do that. And, uh, and I'll return momentarily, okay?
Hello, everyone. I'm back. And I had a nice little uh, pupper mission of my own. I found a puppy girl lounging in the sun. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. Let me turn the picture. Um... That puppy was lounging in the sun, and me and that boy, I took that boy outside, and she just slept. She was just laying by her bed in the sun, basking in the warmness, and I took that boy out. That boy was sniffing around, of course, as you can see, but very sweet. Nice little pupper mission. Got some good puppy snugs, and uh, this boy went to, he went to use the bathroom, but now he's... He's pretty sleepy, actually. You keep sleeping, boy. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to do nothing, boy. And here we are with old Ebor. Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. Of course. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty. Wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here. I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templebroch? No. And if Burgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. All right, what's the deal with you and Uba? No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Ah. A little foreshadowing, perhaps? Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkrit slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Ooh. Ooh. Don't quit Eivor, man. All right. <laughs> he said <laughs> almost makes me feel bad almost not not quite how do I get inside oh I kind of assumed he was guarding the door and it does not appear as though he is or was Keeman, Mr. Keeman. This must be the bathhouse to find a way inside. 
Whack! We'll just blend in here. No one will notice a thing. This place is heavily guarded. Oh yeah, but we like it. Fighting to take Tamworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first. Lay off Frith's orders. Lay off Frith's orders. The king's grown tired of him, you know. That's what all the men are saying. Tired? How do you mean? Are you blind? He questions Burgrid's orders every chance he gets. That's done ever since the Danes showed up. What? I need a third assassination. Goods they've hidden away. Is this the key? Huh? What's up here? Nothing. No? Something. Good. Chailbert. <gasps> What's Chailbert doing here? What's Chailbert doing here? your mind I feared you were one of them keep quiet what are you doing here I'm I was looking for Burgred you are Eva's scout I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering but he's not in Lederchester how can you be sure Leofrith passed this way with some men I eavesdropped oh. it seems they're only stockpiling food here but he did say something of interest gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife the lady Arvelsmith Oh. She's in Templebroth. She would know where Burgred's hiding. You hear that? The sounds of battle. Eva. Let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Oh, this boy turned and put his paws on my 
foot. It's the sweetest. Oh boy. Incredibly dangerous and stupid, sussy. Ivar just wants to get the kid killed for some reason, and I don't know why. said he knew his way around. I'm just exploring while we take a moment. You know? Lord! Did it! Got him. So many snakes is damn. Oh, Lord, no. Say that again? You heard me. I need eggs. eggs. Bye for eggs. Crusty little shits won't go away. This is my land. I was here first. So, as I said, bring me viper eggs okay. and I'll make sure they leave and never come back. Provoking snakes is not how I plan to spend my day. But that could change. A reward? Yes, I understand your meaning. Bring me the eggs and it will be done. Eggs. How many do I have? I have quite a few, lady. Yes. Oh, more. More viper eggs. Oh, that's much better. Oh, no. Getting closer now. I can feel it. More eggs. Oh, more. no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember. No. Yes. It's horrid. Uh, oh. 
I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> that nearly turned my insides out. Oh, I wish I could see the stir I've caused above. Ugh, my reward, before I choked to death. <coughs> As we agreed. Well, have you nothing to say after such a forceful breaking of wind? <coughs> it blew me away. <coughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I do remember that woman. I'm pretty sure it causes a big scene up top too, so. It'll come uh, quite in handy. Disgusting. Oh, my throat! It's like someone has poured salt in it. <laughs> yep. I feel like fart jokes are, are are as old as time, you know? I feel like as long as humans have been around, that we have been farting to try and make each other laugh. Run! There it is, there it is. Wee! Run, 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 run! Run, 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 run! Run, run, run! I gotta get the paper! Run! Oh, I'm so far behind, I don't think I can do it. How did I get so far behind? I got it! Yeah! Yeah! God, it feels good, man. You and you. Ease a puppy pupper. Ease a pupper -roo. Nobody hurt the puppies or I will murder all of you. That's how that song goes. Oh my lord, you just hacking them into bits. It's good stuff. See a way in over there. <laughs> yeah, I don't see no way in. What 
What do I need? I don't, it's barred. How can I? I don't have anything to unbar it. God loves me. Oh, hello. Paradise, where you're going. Get in there. Oh, whale. Well. Have to figure out something else, I guess. What up, D Cell? Nice to see you. Gotta be another way in. gotta be another way in. Back away. Maybe through the... Over here? <laughs> Sam, good morning, dude. How are you? I love the visual of burning the cobwebs. It's really cool, actually. Yeah. Creepy! What you got? Ooh, gimme. Okay, got it. Oh, did I just hear a puppy open the door? Hi, baby. Hi, sweet baby puppy girl. Oh my goodness, he's a puppy baby. He's a puppy baby. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. Hi. Yes. Good morning, my sweet love. Good morning. It's a baby puppy girl. Thank you for blessing my stream this morning. Or this afternoon, as she said. Did you have a good lay in the sun? Yeah. You had a good laying in the sun. What a beautiful baby. The most precious. Oh, no, please, no, please, please, please. Relax, relax, relax. There we go. We can just lay like this. 
We can just lay like this. I know. Okay. Oh boy, and my video's done. I can start the upload process. Good. No, relax. Oh, the wagging of her tail. You can't see it, but it's happening. You know you're being coy. All right, fine, fine. Go on. You blessed us. That's all we need. You checking on your brother who's sleeping? Mm-hmm. What a baby. What a baby. It's fine. I needed that for permission to realize that my thing was done. Uh, yes. And then go to YouTube real quick like. Crash report. Okay. And then... One moment, everyone. I appreciate your patience. Uh, actually... Nope, gotta do another one. Sorry, you guys are just gonna have to deal with this real quick while I set this to upload, because it will take a while. And, uh, yeah, I'm almost done. Adjust the thumbnail real quick. Real quick. Ooh, but I should... Ch oh, damn it. I'll do it later. I enjoy the pictures of Jacinda Daro and her different outfits on the thumbnail changing as we go downloads there we are Skyrim VR and VR done good we would like to monetize it please thank you okay Do a bunch of checks got it then we're gonna do this we're gonna schedule it as a premiere for today at 5 p.m there we go we're still checking your video got it no problem very good very very very, very good okay now i can return to what I was doing. Uh huh. All right. It was very brief. It was a brief pupper mission, as the as Isis puppies during the day typically are. You know, once she gets up and she's on patrol, guys, she does not have time for our nonsense. Okay, she has things that she has to do, and uh, she cannot be distracted by us. All right, and I don't want to distract her. Okay, there we go. Now we're back. Lord, and I forgot, there's still Norway. Jesus. Okay. Failed. Defy a vibe. Alright. We'll 
This doesn't help me find that other thing I was trying to find, though. You know? Wait, or does it? Wait a minute. Or does it? Oh, maybe it does. This is why I light the braziers as I go. It's quite helpful, I've found. Wait a minute. Oh, Lord. I already did that, though, right? I don't know how it got built back all of a sudden, but... Let me check and go the other way, too. What up, McMuffin? How is it going? <laughs> Ow, hot, hot. It's very hot. Uh, no, this was, uh... This was the way I came in. Oh, there we are. That's a great way to do things. Can I... I wonder if I can do this. Let me see. helps me with what I was trying to do. Or you swim just like a mermaid. <gasps> what? That's an Assassin's Creed looking thing there. Mm. Okay, so it's underneath. What is it right here? Yeah. Uh, there does not appear to be what I am looking for. Hmm. over there and move that thing, but I don't see how. This is the one I've already searched. Thus not being as helpful as I would like it to be. Uh-huh. Yeah, I already went through this one. Is there... Oh, wait. No, wait, maybe not. Let's go. Ah, so. 
See, I seem to remember being stuck in this before also. Like, trying to figure out exactly how to get where I'm going. <laughs> I don't remember what the solution was. I feel like maybe under the water there was an entrance somewhere, but I'm not remembering. Oh, damn. getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Hidden one's gloves. Ah, good. Bye bye. That puppy is on patrol. Ooh, I found something else. Ooh, brothers and sisters. Man, this is straight up a hidden one's uh, base. I have found it. An old one, but still. Pick up the Ow. Sorry, boy. That was just me. I wrapped my knuckles on my desk. That was the one I could not figure out how to get in. A yep, found the bureau. Yep. Now let's go see what this final. What I'm hoping is maybe gear over here. Oops. We also got the uh, waypoint or the uh, sink point. To hit, which I can do. Throwing your sword or your shield down, my dude. It seems so, so silly. Oh, 
boy. It's in there. Hey, buddy. Got him. I bet it's in this church. This church looks like the place that would have what I'm looking Wait for. He gets the kill. I love that my birds will loot the things that I kill with my bow and arrow now. but let us just build a ladder to this very thin wall here. What's down here? Ah, finally. Scotty's Wrath. Ooh, a new bow? Oh my god, please be a hunter bow. Please be a hunter bow. Fine light bow. Hunter bow. Well. Well. I have to take it to what's his name to get it uh, upgraded to the next level, but that, that can be done pretty easily. Hidden one's racer. maybe? Venom? Heavy damage? Hedge? No. Jingle. What's that? Elite damage. Ooh! I like that! So let's do... Dagger. And with our shield? Where's the light one? I can maybe do superior heavy shield. Light shield. Fine light shield. Superior light shield. Oof, oof. Let's upgrade this. The blood wolf. Oh man, I like it. Dagger. Dagger and well, it's not really dagger, but uh the Sue. It's a it's a small sword and light shield. I like it. And so Thus, surprise. Where's the... Oh, it's up top. So let's hit the sink point real quick. Then we'll go meet up with Shelbert. Take care, MC! I appreciate you, dude. 
Oh, they're shooting at me. They're shooting at me. Wow, look at my cool shield. Become anonymous to continue. Anonymous. Dun, 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 dun. Anonymous. Dun, 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 dun. Anonymous. Dun, 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 dun. my little I go splish sort of sort of a splish a type of splish hmm what else was over here this was a cool little blob blurb over here hold B while sprinting to slide into enemies and knock them off balance that's cool Put a rune in this bad boy, also as well. Plus three stun. Heavy damage. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, we know. Stay close to me. What? What do I do? Nothing. Fight, man. Fight. up I I don't think so my god I didn't want it to come to this it would have killed you chill you had no choice now don't move where is your king Saxon where is he is that Lord, our father grant me salvation <laughs> oh hope, I hope it wasn't Damn. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You're reckless, Ivar. Cheobed could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his boss? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned your Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. 
Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burgrid's lady Athelsweth is in Templebroth. I'm going to find out what she knows. <laughs> Chilbert's like, bye. Ooh. So nice. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? No, I can't. I can! Oh, there's a good boy. Who's a good look at those pretty eyes? Oh my I know goodness. The soldiers here. Let these people oh bear goodness. witness to the carnage that are with Okay. Stay with me, would you? Pile the soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom. You go where you like. I am not quite finished. Ivar's reckless. Let's look. What? The Assassin's Creed movie on TV? I didn't even know. Let's go see if I can get in this tower one more time. But I don't think I can. I don't know how. Dad puppies on patrol. Dad puppies on patrol. Dad puppy girl is on patrol. Dad puppy is on patrol. She's a puppy on patrol. She's on patrol every day. There's no rest for a puppy on patrol. Oh. Gather up all the fishies. Oh. It's like they know. I do hate when there is some loot, even if it's small loot that I just don't know how to get to. It bothers me. Because I need to know. I want to know. There's like nowhere beneath. Get in there! Wait, what are you? Jet, need to get on the other side. Yeah, but how? Well, but then what? I've done that. You go the other side, and there's nothing there. Bard. 
They're both barred, don't you see, Abel? And I can't do this fancy trick. Doesn't do anything. None of these windows are what we need. It's a mystery! Double barred doors in Lidichistashire. Lure the drunk. Oh my god, you could totally make like a make a scene here with him, you know? Like, I see perhaps something? Some sort of hint? Is it here? Anybody know how to get in the double barred door at Letter Letter Chestershire? <laughs> hmm. I'm completely flabbergasted. See, this is one where I will actually ask for help, because I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Unless there's a is there a window here that I'm not seeing? That's not, that's not, oh, I bet I know. Oh my god, can I do it like that? Uh, actually, I think I know. I think I know. I think if I can, can I shoot through one of these windows out here? Ow, ow. I think I, I think I can. Let me see if I can get an angle. That makes sense. I think this is it. I think I just figured it out. Oh my god, I did! Can you freaking believe it? Ah! About the time I asked for help, it dawned on me. Yay! I did it. I did it. Huzzah! Okay, now we can be on our way. You see? Ooh, who are you? Hmm, someone probably higher level than me. It's not really. It's not gonna work. What's down here? Why haven't I? That one I remember, but I don't remember having to leave this one. And why? Small bullhead. That's so frustrating. Okay, that needs to be taken care of. And then this. Okay. <laughs> Wee. Wolfram. Wolfie, there you are. the talking uh. move what's in here oh wait all right what you need don't you know it's forbidden to consort like this under god's roof take what you want heathen just leave us be no. you must be the abbess here why do you hide in a musky old church we are not hiding. We sought to flee the Shire in the midst of this ungodly war. But in our haste to leave, I lost my crozier. 
fell into the hands of some guards in a camp just below. And I am not leaving without it. Got it. Dangerous endeavor for free sisters of the cloth. What is your plan? You gonna bore them with Bible passages until they give it back? Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. <laughs> it just may work. Or better yet, I can get your crosshair back. You would help us? Merchant uh. soldiers make good practice. And now I'm invested in your plight. Lead the way. Let's <gasps> save the nuns. Come on. Come on. Just tell me where to go. How long since you fled the ministry? Must be weeks now. We had no plan and no help. We just knew we had to get out of Ledichester. Whether it is Burgred on the throne or one of yours, makes no difference. Their reign would be less than godly. No offense. None taken. Ah, of course. Good. Yes. Always. This area is off limits. This is the camp. One of them has my crozier. Oh. The Abbas's crozier should be somewhere Ow. in this camp. Got him. Ow! Battle Abbas's. Don't die, me lady. She need him around the bowels. Damn, they are like battle nuns. Fisting armed men like that. For real. I mean, that was pretty impressive. I gotta give him credit. Lincolnshire is on the other side. We well, you know a little farm in Lincolnshire. Every July, peas grow there. <laughs> I can't hear the name Lincolnshire without thinking of the famous Orson Welles commercial. Do you really mean that? Wolves! Worry not! not. Today, oh god. Not today! Damn. Yeah. Hold on, my lady. Now oh, I've seen everything. Yeah, man. to the Lord our God and thank him for watching over us. Your crows here. The Lord sent me a shepherd to help lead my flock today. Thank you. You did not have to do what you did. There is truth to that. You would have done fine on your own. I will never look upon sisters of the cloth the same way after today. Same. And I will never look upon heathens the same way. Farewell. Fairly well. That was insane. What a battle nuns wear. Bad habits. Nah, that was a good one. That was a good one, Sabretooth. Well done. 
See? Even Jay appreciates it. I say even Jay like he wouldn't appreciate that normally. Also, hello, Jay. How are you? Didn't see you there. Hmm. How do I get to that? Damn it. Here we go, a nice raid. Actually, even better. Hold on, Wolfram. There's my boys! I'm like, you're going the wrong way, fellers. We gotta turn this thing around. Where's my ship kitty? There he is! That's my ship kitty. So cute. So cute. Every boat needs a good kitty on board. More sail! Oh, what are you doing, boy? What are you doing? I know what you're doing. You finally awake, huh? You finally awake, sweet boy. Oh wait, wrong side of the damned river. Shit. Ah, it's fine. I can still get there. And call the raid. We've sailed! Here we are. Yeah! Yeah, boy. Where you wanna go? You wanna go over there, boy? All right, hold on. Before we do this raid, let me see what this boy wants. Let me see. And I'm gonna use restroom, get a little stretch real quick. Nothing crazy, okay? Nothing crazy. But I'll be back, three to five minutes, guys, and I'll be back. You hear this music? Isn't this nice? Enjoy. Enjoy, and I'll be back in just a few minutes.
baby's a little scared, everyone. There's a big, there's a storm happening, and it's very scary. There's a lot of rain, and I just want to take care of this baby. She's fine. To the raid. Let's go. Just feel like kind of taking. Can I get one of these? Guys? Oh my goodness! Yes, baby, you just snugs up right there. Oh, thank you so much, Sussy. It was very epic. I thought it was fun to leave it on. This is what it looks like outside right now, and this is why this puppy is upset. She does not enjoy. She does not enjoy the weather being very unpredictable. It does not please her. Da -na 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 -na. Smack! There we go. for some help. Shit, I should have taken the bell out. Okay. Where's my boy? Oh, Jesus. Good lord. What are we calling Mondays, Jay? Just a mean? Oh my god. You know, if I had been a mean child, that would have actually been a good nickname for me. But I wasn't. I was an angel baby. So. Sorry. Sorry, Jay. Come on. There we go. There we are. I appreciate the support though, Jay. It does not go unnoticed. Oh my god. Whee! Hey man, you got some boots on you, huh? possibly be called such a thing when I have this sweet angel puppy sitting in my lap. Thank you, sussy. This puppy just needs a little, she just needs a little snugs to keep her, keep her feeling safe. That's all. It's just a little... She's a little, little, you know, a little worried. Oh, 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 oh. Two more, this one and this one. And then I should be able to build Vulca's hut after this raid. Which is exciting. Hmm? Hold on. Guys, I I know I'm all about the Danax, but I'm loving the dagger right now. 
smashing pots. Come on. Here, I'm like, if that's not a breakable pot, I'm gonna be so angry. Oh, nope, this one's cleared, fellers, let's go. Guys, the, these puppies are so precious. I got a puppy in my lap, and I got a Stannis at my feet. And I actually think he loves that spot because it's nice and cool, but he also wants to be close. This boy is not as... He's not as scared of the weather as Puppy, but I don't think he likes it. And I think when Puppy is nervous, that makes him nervous. You know? A treasure here. Hell yeah, there he is. That pot was quite elusive indeed. Raw materials. Hell yeah. That should be enough now to build Valka's hut. But we still got one more barrel to get. Then we can finish up this raid. Good stuff. Oh yeah. Keep it going. Across the bridge! Yeah! The loy offices of Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> I want to see the lawyer commercial for the the loy offices. Kuzi and Jay can work on that. Ugh. So gross and horrid. Ow! Mr. Pikeman. My girl right there with the bear hat on. I love her. Alright, let's finish everyone up. Stupid. Whack! There it is. <laughs> oh, you're so shit. Hitting him. Oh my god.
all day he, he also i do think understands that the rain means we can't swim and he does seem quite pouty right now but i am not convinced that all is lost just yet i i really believe it will clear up at least enough for him to get a little swim swam just a little bit just a little swim swam little swim swam boy oh don't pout boy i promise he be okay Okay, I'm actually really pleased with how this is moving along. Let's go to our boat. Get in the boat. Sail down the river. Ow. And see uh, what's going on with the rest of our our whole king's story here. Ow, ow. Burns. Everything burns. Girl. Got her snug stuff now. There is a pouty boy. He's looking awful cute. That boy's looking handsome. Look at this girl snoot. That's my song. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. You, you hear something you need to go investigate? All right. Look at my kitty! Bjorn Maiden, what's that? And we're off. No racing the sail here. Yeah, we can't get through the uh, bridge if we do that. Here we are. Lower the mark. Nice, nice work, boys. Close. Oof. Hold on. Anything again. We told you everything. Won't you let us go? That depends on what happens here. What do you think? By land or by water? If we take a boat in there, it'll cause a stir. Is that a bad thing? Aver, there you are! What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Berger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with him. They must have separated off the Tomworth. I heard as much from Chaelbert in Lerichester. Chaelbert? What was he doing there? Ivar. Too long a tale for now, but he's fine. I send him to Repton. What's the plan here? It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Adelswind. 
Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aber will take care of fetching others with. Odin guide you. Odin. One second, I'm gonna listen to a thing, but I'm not leaving. The Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. We could find a quiet way in, or we can take your longship. I'm beside you either way. Ah, oh, Eivor. I have dreamt of this day. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a vikingur. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering new lands. Forming lasting friendships. And if it takes chasing some weasel across a new land, so be it. I am right where I wish to be. As am I, brother. Have a good saw. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just responding to a thing real quick. Uh, never fear. Never fear. Just give me two seconds, let me write a uh, text back real quick. And then we will continue on.
Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Business. Had to take care of business. You know. Hi, baby. You had to go investigate, and now you're back. Okay, that's fine. All right, now what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're sieging. Siege! Great, I mean. <laughs> Where's my boat? Where's my boat? Kitty? Actually, you know what? Let's just take the small boat. We're gonna take the small boat. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sigurd, you riding in with me, man? The BRE. It was about the BRE. Of that, I can I can say. A handbag. Just the most ridiculous line ever. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about? Just, just YouTube a handbag and look up the like five second clip, four second maybe. That's the one. I must you be don't. Careful now. You don't need any context. You don't. I, uh, I think you'll understand why I find it hilarious. Oh, The Huntsman Cloak! Oh my god. It is time. Upgrade. 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 <laughs> yes. A Huntsman? Yes. Oh my god, I love that. I love it. You're all fuzzy and warm. Damn. Oh shit. It's good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Igor. I dig it. And what's the bonus for the Huntsman gear? Increased range to damage when hitting enemies. Additional increase to speed. Fuck yes. Okay, wait. Also, they need runes. They need runes big time. Okay, let's go what we got here. Um, I'll take that. The health. That's a pretty good one. 11. Oh, we'll take the big one. Resistance. Melee resistance, period. It's nice. Hmm. We'll do the weight thing. I like the weight thing. Good. 
Good. Well, the long version of that uh, saber tooth is also very notable. Um, because, first of all, the woman is ridiculous. The character is ridiculous. Um, but that woman's interpretation of her is even more so. But the whole scene is just absurd. Like, all oh, your patterns living? And like, I can't, I can't even do what she does with her voice. But the way that she does it. And she's so mean. You know, both his parents died and he was found in a handbag. And she goes, oh, handbag. It's just ridiculous. I just sabotaged this. Lovely. Good to know. Hmm. Alright, fine, Sigurd. Don't don't do anything, Sigurd, it's fine. Sigurd? <laughs> No one noticing him? No? Got him! Get over there. Nice. <laughs> Sigurd's just basically invisible. Mary, did you get over here? We'll do this the Viking way then. Shit. No, no, we don't need to. Can imitate the woman very well only because I've said it so many times because I find it hilarious
your parents living? Okay. Oh boy. Oh shit. I did not, I missed my chance to assassinate. Or did I? Get him! Whap! Got him. The double whap! Here we are. That is a puppy face if I ever saw one boy. That is a puppy face. I don't know if I could have stood this boy as a puppy. I just don't know if I could. I think he might be too much. I think I think I might you don't smush your little face up against my leg. You know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. Boy, I can't take you in the rain. I can't do it. Yes, I know. But hopefully, when we're done streaming, it'll be nice, boy, and then you can, uh... Alright, let's get loud. Oh, it wouldn't let me chain. through walls and stiff, huh? Let's do that. There we go. Okay, boy, I'll see you later. He's pouting. He's going to see if there's anyone else available, you know? It's really what he's it's really what he's off after here. Oops, why would I do that? What's going on? Dragon back. Yeah. Step. Oh, bullshit. Bull. Shit.
are so stupid. Exploded, maybe. Might have been even easier. I could have done that. Go ahead. What do we got? Here we are. Oh boy. Okay. Oof. Jesus! Uh, out! Damn you! Oh boy. Okay. Let's get it back together. Got a little crazy, a little messy here, but we're gonna get it back together now. Jay says for folks who send you things as we who want to send you things as we enter the holiday season where there'll be an updated P.O. box. The P.O. box will get things to me regardless. Even if I'm not here. Nothing at that P.O. box will not not get to me. Because I have the ability to forward things from that P.O. box. So you don't need to worry, like, oh my god, if I send it and you move and you change. Won't be a problem. Because it all, regardless of how, you know, um, what the status is at the time of sending, I can always forward to wherever I'm at. So it won't be lost. So the P.O. box is good. Does this help? Does this answer your question? Got it. It answers the question, I think. So, does that help, Jay? That's for everyone as well. I know a lot of people are asking and like about the PO box and like I just want to make sure you guys know like is good. It's a cool it's a cool service. I'm glad I found it and it has proved uh, quite useful. So and has brought a lot of joy to me and my streams. I'm very uh, happy for all the wonderful, sweet, thoughtful things y'all have sent my way. Oh boy, here we go. Your doom calls. Stop stab stabbing me. Yeah, the sitting shit on fire is good. I like this. Oh, do your duty! 
Yes! Stupid. There we go. Oh my god, you're not even paying attention! Alright, we have systematically removed every single guard, I believe, in this entire place. Works for me. Okay, now let's find out exactly where she's lying. This princess. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeehaw! Just like that, baby. A princess, or whatever she is, wife of the king. So I suppose the queen, right? Yeah. Okay. My queen. Uh huh. Was this? Damn! How do I get in there? Huh? Where and how? Oh! You still scared, puppy girl? It's not stopped raining yet, baby. It's not stopped yet. Oh my goodness! Are you sure? You sure you're not just scared for no reason? Hey, baby, you wanna come to me? You wanna come to me, puppy baby? A puppy baby. A puppy baby. Oh, stop! How do I get. Aha! Is this it? Oh, finally! I think, anyway. Oh, and I've got skill points. Let's use these too. Hmm. Hmm. 
91! You know what this means. Well, actually, Redwald is dead, so <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything, I guess. Hmm. Here we are. <gasps> you three, scurry. <laughs> Lady Athelswith, I see Burgred has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Aver? Noble, selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. That's not Please, true. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger. But she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. Ah. She is a decoy. Ooh, which one of you is the real one? Oh man, some classic right here. Watch the handmaidens. I'll follow Athels with. She's gone. Ath Athels, Athel, Ath Athel Swift? What kind of a name is that? Athel Swift. Get down. Hurry, hurry. Oh, come on. Get in the boat. Let's go. Let's go. Get her. Get her. He'll never escape me. I'm so glad you're able to drop in. How are you? Help! Help me! Coming. We don't want to hurt you. Stay away from me. What do you mean? My husband will send you all to hell. Ooh. Stop what you are doing at once. No, I can't. I have to kill these guys. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Don't you dare put your hands on me. Lady Athel Swift. Got her. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh, you're not. That's not what I want. Get out of it. Yeah. Come on. Milady. Oh, quite clever, your ladyship. You're certainly making us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan! Have you lost your sense of hospitality? <clears throat> I regret asking. Let me go! I demand it! After what you put me through, I would have to be mad. Do you understand what you're doing, pagan? I am the Lady of Mercia! Yeah. There we go. Nice work, Eivor. You're wasting your time. I won't talk. Not to you, not to any of you barbarians. You may reconsider, if only for your people. 
For who knows how many more might die at the hands of us barbarians. You don't frighten me. Then you are a fool. Delivered without harm. Uh. Lady Othersquith, you have seen better days. God will sear your soul, heathen, if he can find it. Why, the cat shaver? She is as much a poet as you. Where's my Catelyn? What have you done with her? Your handmaiden, you mean? The brave one? Dressed in royal finery? Season change with the others. I'll take them back to Tamworth. Get them talking. If she has so much as a scratch on her... I will inform Cheowulf. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I will meet you there. Sigurd, what about oh, these prisoners? I love this outfit. We've got what we need. Let them go. Guys, huh? don't do anything hey, stupid or what's that about? You know, we'll have to kill you. All right, hell yeah, we're making progress. We're making progress. Let's look at the let's look at the map. Let's see what we got. We go here. Perfect. We can just hit a little, little fast travel over here. Boom. And then we'll see what old lady Ethel Swift has for us. But first, let me take a real quick break. And then when I come back, we will continue on. I think we're in what part three of this now. Yeah. No, chapter three of the Kingmaker's Saga. This is a fun one. We're regrouping in Tamworth. And we're gonna see, uh, you know, if we can convince old, you know, wife of the king to give up her husband's location. And then, when we're done with that, I do finally have enough, oh yes, raw materials to build Volca's cabin, which will open up some more quests. And, nope, no skill points right now. I'm gonna leave it on the nice chant. Oh, the nice chanting. Okay, everyone enjoy it. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Leave a like on this video if you haven't done it yet, and uh, and I'll return momentarily.
And I'm back, everyone. Hello, hello. Thank you all for your patience and allowing me to take a quick break. Prepare ourselves. I needed a little stretch. This boy needed a little, he took a little, little walk around and a puppy is actually getting her scooter right now. Right now. now it has stopped raining like bad, bad. Um, but she was still a little bit nervous, but I think her running on the scooter will probably help her. Here we are. Let's go. We Boy, I promise. I promise. I promise that we are going to get your swim swam in, okay? We got your little life jacket. We will take you, boy. Don't you worry. This boy is so... He just... This boy just wants to... Oh. He just wants to swim. He won't even hardly fetch normally anymore. He really just wants to swim, fetch swim. Do this. Your turn. She won't talk to me. Ava will handle it. I got it. Go on. Oh, thank you for the weebies, also, everyone. I appreciate you. You've exhausted my friend Abba here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkett's hiding and look how awesome Ava looks. Never. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly bull. Too scared to protect his family and his people. Mm-hmm. Thirsty? Oh. Ooh, <laughs> My sassy. husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise, knowing that even his closest friends could betray him? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. I don't care how you feel about Cheowulf, but he will be king. It's only a matter of when. Borgred is king. Elected by the Witten and anointed by God. My lady, I know what the losing side looks like, and you're on it. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Templebroch, and Lerichester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borgred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Cheols of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrith remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor? Your ladyship? Do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Damn. Damn! Oh, God! Damn! Well. I'm just gonna say nothing and just let those speak for themselves. I would not stick around too long. The smell of pig shit after they pass this is something dreadful. My, my God, get me out of here, please. Look how awesome I look. Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You, 
You are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you will betray countless others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Cheol's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. She did it! Does the caged bird sing? Burgred is hiding in an old crypt to the south, where the Alni and Arrow Rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. The heads were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me. Whoever trains these Mercian soldiers should be relieved of their duty, I think. Where... Okay, here we go. Where are we going? Burgers. The old crypt is in the south of Leicestershire. Wait, is this it? Where the Ar where the Arwen and the Alne rivers join. Are are we? And Alne. Right here. This is the one. This is the one. Oh my god. Amazing, okay. I think I already went down here and couldn't get in there, but that explains it. Let's go! Beautiful, Eivor. Good lord. I got killed a bird. Come, Woofy. Woof, 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 wooferson. Woof, 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 wooferson. Woofy, 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 wooferson. He's a wooferson. He's a wooferson. Hey, what's up, Sigurd? What's going on, man? Try not to drag the entire King's Guard behind you. Right. No promises. We will secure the bridge at Venonus. When you have Burgred, ride straight there. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. I'm glad you're hype, Jameer. This has been a good long quest. And like, I like it. They're they're trying to replace the king, not, not necessarily just murder and whatever. Like he's trying to do it a good way, but there's still been a lot of death. But, you know, these things happen in war. War! Yes, boy. Can Thank I help? God for a musty crypt. It cannot be the dead they're protecting. There we are. The gods here are vigilant.
Imagine being alive at this time. I think about that sometimes, Jameer, and I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I'm where I'm at. You know, I think we we can romanticize these time periods real easily, but in my opinion, it is it is not a time that I would personally want to live in. Damn. He was not very vigilant at all. something turn around Sussy, thank you so much! I appreciate that. It is crazy how quickly we got to power level 91. Uh, I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying the journey. And I, I hope that you are also as well. And I really do appreciate all of your support, Sussy. And this... Assassination is not for you. God, it's so violent. It's so violent. Stab, 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 stab. Like, ugh. Brutal. This shield is awesome, by the way. Oh, bullshit! Bullshit!
Got him. Two for one. Leofric ride out in a hurry like that. What's going on? His lordship wouldn't say. Strictest confidence. Was it the king's orders? Get him. Get him. everyone getting the plague a farmer around this time period or me playing rimworld or both is that an option as well because it should be it definitely should be Get on the other side. How do you let me in? That's right, come on out here. Oh my god, if this works. Open the door! Come on, you bastard. You goofy bastard. You goofy bastard! practicing my my voice acting high five you, know, you gotta do the sounds of when you you get got too Whoa. different stuff just trying to be versatile you know Gotta be just a huge thing underneath this, so. Ah, yes, of course, the obvious stairs down would probably be the smartest way to go about this. He's got to be down here. Where are you hiding, Burgrid? What the hell is that? What's in 
here. Collect all the wealth in Leicestershire, or whatever it's called, Leicester, 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 what? Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Let's see what's down this. Way. Power in order to aim at you. What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Eh, maybe. So stealthy with my torch. Come on, axe, 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 axe. Nope. trying to convince me with that really adorable precious sweet face we will we will go soon boy we are very close I must be getting close I promise oh. <laughs> oh. Ah. that's new leather that's new leather she says funny
feared spear. The feared spear. Hmm. This is interesting. Yes, boy. Oh, yes, boy. Can I help you? Oh, yes, boy. He's a good boy. Look at that boy. You trying to get me? Huh? Ooh. Fight ready. Cool. Boy. Boy. Not the new leather. It's the first time I've heard her say that, actually, which is funny. Very soon, boy. Very, very soon. You sweet boy. Hey! There's the target! Shoot. My lord! Intruders! Damn! Yanked him right into death. I love the harpoon. That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. Oh boy, are we fighting? Oh shit! We go oh Jesus, we going! And you'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, it won't come to that. This kingdom is mine! Mine! The throne is mine! There he is. Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. Gather up some things real quick here, my lord. What did I get? Ooh, a sepulcher Dane axe. Damn. That's pretty cool. All right, come on, sir. <sighs> Got you. Mr. King. Mr. Kingman. Here we are. Can I, uh, here. Place. There we are. Come on, Wolfram. Get me off this thing. Don't be afraid. Wolfram has us. King, we're perfectly safe. In his warm, the embrace of his warm paws. You, you, you think you've won? Yeah. You haven't. Leofris, I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Okay. Quiet. The mess you're in 
You don't know the half of it. You're a blight on this world. The whole lot of you. A rancid disease. You don't deserve Mercia. Mercia. To the victor, the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. Yes, Wolfie. You have something to say? Hey, boy! This way! We need to go. Fast. Right behind you. Got him. Let's go. Wolfwoman. I believe in you, Wolfwoman. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Man, where's my backup? Y'all gonna help me or not? Shit. Look familiar? No! No! You... You godless slugs! You won't get away with this! Are you sure? Where... Where am I going? Is it inside this fortress? He's the best boy. He really is. There we are. There we go. Yes, boy, very soon. We have to place the new king, okay? Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! Okay. My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zealots? Who does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies, nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? That is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a land to slaughter? See what I mean? Dark. Too dark. You there! Get... Sit down. I love this boy. I love this boy. I know I have been a cock. <laughs> but you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said, 
That Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some background I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow. Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Ragnarsson. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Abba want? To grow old and fat on the farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. What was he like before? Like me. Ferocious. Wild. With respect, I don't think anyone is like you. If that is a compliment, I missed it. All I mean to say is, things were easier some time ago. If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why is this making me nervous? Stannis, you like watching the Vikings? Hmm? Are you intrigued by this royal storyline? <sighs> Out it myself again. Hello, girls can I miss the crowning? Day to you as well. I can't oh dab for way here. Just you little snuggied up there, boy. You little sweet boy, you so sweet, Stanny. How much did we drink? I don't remember this at all. Nervous, I don't like this. Where is my son? Oh no. We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word. Oh Lord. no. I suggest we carry on. You sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision. That you are unfit to rule, and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Cherwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? 
Ah, uh, yes, I Don't see trust it him. now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... <laughs> oh, slapped him! Give you him the, fool. the Rhea slap. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, I, I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I'll resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. Yeah. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king. A merciful king. God save the king! It better be worth all this trouble. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. You'll come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheobert. Go. Yeah. We gotta save Cheobert. Eh? Wait. Oof. Fast travel. Hey, if we're in the Matrix, we can fast travel. I can I can justify that easily. They have breached the walls. I must find Chelbert. Chelbert. Coming, Chelbert. Have you seen Chelbert? No, but we caught sight of Leo fleeing across the river. He was chasing someone. It has to be Chelbert. He's the only prize worth taking in this mess sink. Okay. Search for Chelbert on the Isle of Waves. Coming! Get up, my friend. Let's go. You're mine. Place is all mine. Coming. Get up! 
convenient. Wait, is this not my boat? This ain't my boat. Oh boy. Okay, whatever. It's a fun. Chailbert's one of your favorite characters? Amazing. <laughs> he's pretty cute. I like Chilbert. He's a good, he's a good dude. You know, I feel for him. Searching, searching for little Chailbert. Yeah, it's a that was Jurassic Park. Chailbert, he's in trouble. Back down, Leopard. No, I will not. I will not. I did not. Come on, come on. Please, you do not want to do this, Leofrith. Let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Oh, damn. Damn! Run, Chilbert. Lay it by, Leuvrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. Dang, not Leofrith. I kind of like him. You can't win this, Leofrith. Even if you defeat me, the Ragnarsons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. Take that! Stop moving and just like stop. Did I get him now? Damn it. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. There it is. Now we got something going. Why you gotta wanna die, Leofrith? It's over, dude. The fight is over, man. God. Me, I I am. Do you not? Got him. You cannot win. Stop that nonsense. You Stop that nonsense. To your guard or your king? I swore an oath to serve Borgrid to the death. I fought, I lost. We both know how this goes. Oh, don't do it. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. 
Burgred abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrith, I'd want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth. Truth! Glory. I always go truth, man. Truth, truth, truth. Truth, 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 truth. Truth! Stand, Leofrith. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burgred is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death. What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted so close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. I like... Evil. You have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. Scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, Got or it. they will never stop hunting you. Hmm. Where will you go now? Rome. Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Ooh. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. That's cool, girls. I, I liked him. Even Chalbert These was like... These will heal quickly. You're he lucky. taught that's him how to fight and like... He's a good dude, man. It's a shame to just... But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden, Chalbert. This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help him. You did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You're a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There is no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forged a new path. Yep. You were right about him, Chelbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Here we go. Jailbert! Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. Damn. You're an Otlinger now. Or Aetling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. We honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. What happens now? Word of Burgred's deposition will spread quickly. The other kingdoms of England will soon enough know that Mercia has a new king. Good. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly. Oxenifordshire! Forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Linger. Strengthen our friendships. Like a fart. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was 
away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Aveling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. <laughs> Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Oh, and little Chilbert joins us. He's so cute. You ready for my call, Aver? It will come. Hi, boy. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist. <gasps> as a sign of friendship. I should you call. The brothers Rangnason will come. You honor me, other. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That's good to hear. Yay! We're doing it! Huzzah! Leovrit said there are hunters after me. Yeah. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I'll be marked for death. Maybe I wanna fight Zealots. I should head to Venonis. You know? Maybe I wanna. What's wrong with that? Hmm? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But first, first things are first. Ooh, what's here? Ah, yes, yes. We'll get there. We shall get there. Yeah, sure. God dang. Eivor looks awesome in her huntsman outfit. I love it. Big fan. Big fan. First thing I want to do is build Valka's hut. Which should give us a... Oh my, we got even more to do, huh? Even more quests to do, which will be nice. Ooh. Ooh. Passively regenerate health. Damn. And that is not that far away. My build is all over the place, but I'm completely okay with that. Damaged axe from old Ivar, Ivar, whatever. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. No, no. Oh, we have so much to do, y'all. Here we are. The Seer's Hut. 60 and 800. No problem. Ooh, damn. It's nice. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. You're welcome. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Huh? Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Good. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions mm -hmm. to see them more clearly. That's very exciting, Jinzilla. I look forward to seeing the updates. Oh, what is this? Release a firefly? I do not have any fireflies. Okay. Uh, I do, however, have what I need 
to blow this up. Remember this? And I was like, I don't know what to do. Wait, damn it, I need a... I need a, uh, shoot. An adrenaline thing. Is there anything I can kill? No. next one. Anything. Anything. Come on. Any small animal will do. Seriously. Just anything. A bird, a rabbit, anything will do. <laughs> Eivor's gear sounds very loud. Come on. How are there no animals? I have to get this treasure. So dumb. There's like a million animals around usually, and now I see zero. Literally zero. Like just a rabbit. I'm like one shot away from getting my adrenaline thing so I can use the skill and blow up the thing to get the. Uh, uh. I'm not stopping until I get it. Come, Whoopi. Help me find something to hunt. Just anything. Anything will do. Aha. There it is. Now. Now. We can go back. Boy. Stop that. Come here. We gotta get that treasure, y'all. Oh, look, now there's a million animals. That's funny. That's really funny. Now I've got two full, and that's not, I don't even need that. With snitch on it. It's a little, it's a little disturbing. Alright. Let's see what Valka has for the visions.
I might still have enough to level up something else, too. I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. Woo! I wasn't. Well, guess we're going. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself. Great. But it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the nine worlds. Great. Okay. Um, well, before we do that, I'm gonna save, guys. I'm gonna wrap things up, and I'm gonna call it for now. It has been a busy day. We've gone a Viking since bright and early this morning. And I'm ready for a break. I, I think it's time. I feel good. And most importantly, more than anything, this boy. This boy needs to get his swim swam on. And he deserves that. This boy comes to Mimo because he wants to go swim more than anything. And so I must, I must take this boy, this boy, and take him and let him get his swim on. Oh, no, no, careful, I got you, I got you. We're going to take this boy and let him get his swim on. And it will be a glorious, glorious day for all. Um, thank you guys, all of you, for being a part of today's stream. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving a like if you did that. Thank you. Thank you for any and all tributes of all sizes. They are all appreciated and they all make a huge difference in my success on this channel. So thank you to uh, to everyone for contributing to it in all of the ways that you guys do. If you're like, wait, did I do something? Double check. See if you liked the video. And if you didn't, that's the easiest and, uh, you know, are you waving, boy? Is that what that was? She was waving. Um, liking the video is the easiest way to support these videos. Next, see if you're subscribed. If you're not, ask yourself, do I want to be subscribed? And I hope that the answer is yes. I can't answer that question for you. Only you can answer that question. But whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching this sometime in the future, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it made your day better. I hope it made, you know, maybe you're trying to pass some time and you just wanted to feel a part of something while you're doing other things or whatever the reason may be. Uh, I hope it made your day better in some way, shape, or form. And if it did, please consider subscribing so that you can, you know, experience that feeling more often. Because I stream pretty much every day except for Sundays. And I also upload a variety of other videos as well. But, um... Speaking of, there is a new Skyrim VR video premiering today at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. So in, like, a little over an hour and a half, okay? An hour and 37 minutes or something like that. Uh, there will be a new episode of uh, Skyrim VR in the saga of Jacinda Daro, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. And, uh, and that's it. I'm going to take this boy swimming. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Uh, thank you all for all of your support. And I will see you all tomorrow. Mm. Say bye, boy. Say bye, boy. Say going to swim. Going to swim. Going to swim. Let's go swim. Okay. Okay. Let's go swim. <laughs>